Guys, welcome to episode 64 of Insensitive Ooh. Culture. As always, you know me. What's up, what? You know my guy over here. Mm-hmm. And that fool blazer, what, Ramon? On the other side, welcome back. <laughs> and together, we form... Insensitive Culture, the podcast. Make sure you check it out. <laughs> That's Make sure you check, check it out, out the flex. Oh, man. Guys, it feels mm. good to be in mm-hmm. episode 64. I feel like these things are flying by. Episode six. six oh, that means you only got five more till sixty nine, Dave. Oh, hey. that lined up. We should we should stop at sixty nine. <laughs> just never record another episode. We no, want just to restart the number. What a yep. meme! And then we just, just keep going up to sixty nine. We do sixty nine episode seasons. <laughs> That's it, bro. That's <laughs> sick. That's sick. Like that's not uh, really like a real season. Like we just keep going, but we just the numbering goes sixty nine. The episode 69 already, the title's going to be mm-hmm. nice. Got Johnny Sin nice. signed up. <laughs> In studio. Lock's it's just going to be blow. nice. It'll be nice. <laughs> oh, man, we were just reminiscing on the issues that we had early on with Johnny and trying to make all of this work and sound issues and hearing each other in doubles <laughs> and echoes oh. and... Echoes so many Webex, like <laughs> throat clears. It's disgusting. <laughs> uh, but we made it. We made it to episode 64. You sure did. It's quite a milestone. Sure did. And Johnny, welcome back, bro. I was, Thank you. I almost unfollowed your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done. It was a little this wild. Guys, taking pictures in front of infinity pools and putting up videos like mm-hmm. yeah. high on shrooms. I said it was going to be a movie. <laughs> and it sure it was. was. Ooh, it I seems forgot like about it. the shrooms. Oh, man. I'm definitely not doing that again. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Maybe Did you one bug? Time. What happened? Was it, was it not It was good? just. No, it was good. It was. It was. I was surprised because it was some shrooms that had been sitting in like a little tub for like quite a while. Um, mm-hmm. And it was it, like I basically. It was already like day four of this trip. And so we'd been drinking like, it was like you wake up and you're having mimosas. Um, Mm -hmm. So like you're drinking all day long. So it was, I was already a bit tired, right? This is like, I think it was the Saturday we arrived on Wednesday and we'd been going pretty hard every day before that. Um, Even in not so much late into the night, it was an adult crowd, but um, I was sticking around to like 10, 30, 11, 12. Uh, anyways. Damn, drinking yeah, all that day. That's, say, that's, that's late wild. when you're drinking all day, bro. I pass out yeah. like by dinner, take a nap, have another <laughs> dinner at like 10. I mean, I'm, it's not like a, what are those, like a like an all-inclusive resort where you're literally just like chugging oh, every okay. time you okay. like turn that's a what i pictured that's a, what i pictured right i mean it's just like being at a backyard barbecue where as often as you want to go like we we bought mad fucking liquor and um they delivered it from the like local grocery store and shit so that was we just had like a bar basically and we could just make our own drinks nice. whenever you want so it's up to you how how lit you want to get right um right. and i was you know pretty consistent making myself a drink but i wasn't like i don't think i ever got like fully like wasted wasted outside of like the first night just or kept two. a nice buzz the entire yeah, day kept a nice steady, buzz all day buzz. long right that's how that's how you to, make it till 11 i told, you can't I told everybody it's a marathon hard. not a sprint it's not it's right you know, right no reason to rush you know this ain't college mm-hmm. days no more <laughs> yeah fuck that yeah but, i don't um, even think i could survive some shit like that yeah i mean you 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 could you definitely could. <laughs> um, <laughs> no no I mean like, days, like pounding like, shit all day. Oh yeah no that that shit is definitely not uh, no. not not for me. I mean, one day maybe and and then that's it. Right and then relax. But but yeah by the time I hit the shrooms like it was we had it was already like two o'clock I think it was our our start time, and it was also a day that we had had um, 
just like I said, this this trip was fucking lit. I, and I didn't plan it, by the way. <laughs> and nobody in my family planned it. My sister-in-law planned this shit. We had a, a private chef come in on Saturday morning and make oh, brunch. Oh, look at you. Like I said, I this shit was brunch. fucking crazy. I saw that brunch. Uh, and so we had, like, mimosas and shit for, for brunch. So we'd been drinking since about uh, 10, 30, 11 o'clock that day. Um, and, and because not everybody, like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience that you get a private chef and fucking cook you brunch uh right. everybody's going even wilder right like, like yeah this fucking lit and like amazing food <laughs> so i'm already kind of tired <laughs> is my point right it's two yeah. o'clock i've been drinking yeah. for a while and now it's time to pop some shrooms and everybody mm-hmm. else is a little bit sunbeat at this point so they're also a little bit tired and uh so i got two rookies that never done shrooms before and and then me and my brother in law who who have done it plenty of times or at least more than a handful, um, he ends up totally like so. Uh, uh, I served them half seas. I was like, just go half, you know. Don't go. To, I don't know what the experience is going to be like for you, and I don't want you to blame me when your like vacation is ruined <laughs> or some shit. Yeah. So just Throwing do a little half sea, and I'll I'll do a full one. Um, my brother in law ends up like tapping out like. Before it even hit him, like 20 minutes in, he was like, dude, I'm so beat. I got to go take a nap. And I was like, holy shit. Ooh, that's going to be a weird nap, bro. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. I'm super scared to sleep because I don't want to know. I don't have no idea what that experience is going to be like uh, knocked out. (laughs) So I'm like, nah, I'm definitely staying away from it. I'm I'm tired as well, but I'm not. I'm trying to stay as far away from that bed as, as possible. And so I'm now like the coach. I gotta like guide these other people through uh, their like experience. A shaman. Jeez. And um, yeah, like Sounds I just like ba- worst, I laid honestly. it out for them. <laughs> I just laid it out for them, nice and easy. And I was like, you know, the 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 best guidance that I gave was like the best part about shrooms is that you're in control, right? This is not a high like. Um, I like what I assume like LSD or acid is like where shit is just, Oh, I can't grasp just it anymore. On for the ride. It just, yeah. Like with shrooms, you, you can let it get that way or you can totally control how much, you know, uh, how wild things kind of get for you. And so that gave them some peace and calm. And again, they only took a half, um, shot that I did. They had a fucking great ass time. They were fucking, the giggles hit them at like 20, 30 minutes in and they, you know, they were just living it up, seeing like, you know, I think they had like a fuzzy wall moment and they're <laughs> feeling the textures and shit. I cool. like, I'm, I have double the dose and I have nobody to enjoy this with. <laughs> so I, it just was very exhausting. Like mm-hmm. everything that was funny was way funnier. <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing. Um, I mean, That's- I'm literally laughing at like people moving chairs from one spot to another. <laughs> I'm like dying on the floor can't stand up uh, that's laughing. what i've heard about it i've never uh, tried shrooms but i wanted to try it because everybody that has just told me they cannot stop laughing at the word. dumbest shit it, that's pro- <laughs> like i said it's mm-hmm. it's the highest elevation of joy like you're just joyful the whole time about everything that happens <laughs> which is why I, I love it so much but yeah, i it, can't do as much anymore because <laughs> It was just very tiring. By like yeah. four hours later, I'm like, all right, guys, I really don't want to laugh anymore. Stop doing <laughs> funny shit. Stop. I'll stop moving the chairs, <laughs> Johnny. <stop> You're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody just leave the chairs still. in place. Stay still <laughs> until Johnny's alone. not tripping balls anymore. Why are you guys anymore? not moving? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next time we go to the cabin, we'll have to do some shit like that. Yeah, I think be that'll, be that. a, that'll be a cool experience. Yeah, I've never, since I've never done it, I just need, I need a day where I'm just like, I literally have to do nothing. Yeah. Just nothing. We record an episode and just fuck it. <laughs> oh, man. Or record an episode on shrooms. Nobody will want that. <laughs> yeah. that might nobody be will want to hear I don't that. know what that'll turn out like <laughs> that that would be that would be a patreon 
episode when we have oh, man. such a huge there following that people would actually pay Members for it. Members only. <laughs> I feel like we'd get swatted. The cops would show up. Some shit would go down. It would be fucking. <laughs> oh, it makes such great content. And then though, we'd be tripping it? balls too. And no, nah, dude, not with like the SWAT team kicking our shit in. Where the fuck do you think this is happening? Did, Wherever. Are we talking about Medellin? Wherever. <laughs> like where people we get swatted here all the time, bro. <laughs> yeah, like where where <laughs> people get where? swatted here. I didn't say DEA. DEA kicking yeah. a SWAT team, son. The SWAT team. Oh, they man. ain't no SWAT team. By the. <laughs> By, by the, the lake, by the lake, at the cabin. Oh yeah, no, that's true. We're that's gonna gonna that's 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 police officer. <laughs> by the time they got there, we wouldn't even be tripping anymore. No, it'd be a word. Like, what are you talking? They literally about? told me when I moved in there, they were like, "If you get a fire, just exit the building, but expect your house to burn down." They're not gonna <laughs> no make one's it. gonna get. <laughs> they're not good. making it. What's down the here? police Mom, response time? Have you ever? Called the cops just to like I've, time it like they do in the movies when they're going to rob a place. No. <laughs> be good to know what the police response time is. Am I crazy here? Let's just check it out when they get there and be like, I just want to see how long it's going to take me to show up. Good job, guys. Good job. Taxes go to hard earned folks. <laughs> Yo, totally off, off topic. I have, a, I have a question for you guys mm, because okay. this happened to me recently. Is this our question? So. Have you ever ordered some food, Grubhub, Uber Eats, whatever, saw the person that handed you this food and actually, and actually considered throwing it away because Ooh. this person just looks fucking disgusting? <laughs> and like, this motherfucker, like, what if he touched my food? Fingered <laughs> shit, yeah. yeah, it happened to me. I, I had some food delivered and I saw this motherfucker. I was like, Oh, I think I, I might want to throw this fucking food These days, I, I don't even greet them. I tell them to put it on the porch. Really? And I'll grab that shit. Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't want to fucking talk to anybody. I don't want to. It's not because I'm afraid of COVID. <laughs> I just don't want to fucking see anybody. Dude. I just, like, if you're going right. to drop my shit off, drop it off. I'll grab it. You'll get a good tip. Everyone's happy. Like, I don't want to see those people. But I had a shitty Grubhub experience, like, a while ago where yeah. like, I just ordered food. And the dude said that he attempted delivery and tried to deliver it. Nothing was delivered. Mm. Nothing. No knock. No. Mm. No, no. Nothing oh, at yeah. all, so, dude. And so I'm you're like, just some I, dude trying to keep your shit. I called up and I was like, "Hey, so this guy said that he tried to deliver, and you know there was nothing." And they're like, "Oh, we can give you half off your next order if yeah, you like." I <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I said, "Wait, hold up a second. Uh, no, wait a minute. <laughs> the food that didn't just come here, like <laughs> yeah. that's gone. Like we're not even dealing with that anymore. It's the next." <laughs> and I like, I'm not the dude that asked to talk to a manager hardly ever. Like I maybe done it. Th- once, two, three times in my life. But this time I was like, dude, listen, whatever your name is, I need to talk to whoever yeah. is above you because this is not okay. And plus I was <laughs> hangry because my fucking food didn't come, dude. Yeah, I don't yeah. play that shit. So I was I, am the man I was livid, dude. And I didn't order from like Grubhub or anything like that for probably a couple years until one day I just wanted some dinosaur Damn. delivered. And I was like, I'm going to go to DoorDash. And that I had, shit is so fucking I had expensive. Door- no, man. dude, I spend like 45 bucks on Dinosaur for myself. And I'm just a disgusting slob. <laughs> like, it's, it's terrible. Like, I feel bad about it. Like, I'm embarrassed about it. Like, I don't even want to tell anybody. Like, I, I, I know Ash has the ring camera alerts. So she sees the shit get dropped off <laughs> if she's not there. And she's like, oh, he's so fucking disgusting. I know it. Like, and that's how I'm like, you're right. Again. And then I'm such just a like, fat ass. Just brisket falling all over my face. That's so good, dude. But yeah, it's worth She's it. only it's thinking that because when she gets home, she gets home and you didn't leave her anything, didn't order her a meal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, dude, if, if, I get, if I get something like that for myself, like there's no way she's eating with me. Like I would be <laughs> dead <laughs> if I, she's like, she's like, what's for dinner? And I'm like, oh, I just had dinosaur dropped off and I ate it all. She would fucking kill me. So I would not fuck around like she, it's one of those nights where like she's working late and she's like we're gonna eat like we establish it ahead of time like are we eating together or are we on our own and like we i i want to know like 24 hours in advance so that like i can <laughs> plan my shit out and know what the fuck's gonna you know what's gonna go down oh so, man you are right now you can order dinosaur today day right right i get permission I was, I was like, yeah. I was like yes you can she knows that's what I want, <laughs> she just so. she just instantly are we eating together or are we not just order your fucking di- <laughs> dinosaur right exactly 
Never <laughs> order dinosaur when I'm around. <laughs> I like dinosaur too, you fuck. She doesn't like dinosaur like I like. <laughs> Nobody likes dinosaur like I like dinosaur, though. Like, when no, she goes there, true. she gets, like, the chicken sandwich, dude. Like, she doesn't even get, like, like some, barbecue. Like a bar- like yeah, barbecue. right, right. Yeah. So, like, I know she just appeases me. So, I love her for that. Yeah, as this much happens. As we talk about these mofos, they're going to have to start paying for this airtime. <laughs> for real, though. <laughs> just oh. send over some brisket. That's it. Um, That's it. And, yeah, and they'll have they'll have Dave. We can't have Dave negotiate anything on this podcast. Just Nothing me, at all. Give me some brisket. He'll take the <laughs> first whatever ads you want. We'll the just... first deal that they that they set off. If they it's anything, brisket. yeah. If it's anything more than his paycheck every week, he's just like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" Like, hell yeah, <laughs> I'll get I'll get or some brisket. <laughs> Our first legit sponsor will be a barbecue joint. I'll be all for it. Sticky lips. Go there. Go. <laughs> You get to eat for free one time a, a month. I'll be go. I'll be good with that and some cash. I'd be like uh, your mom's house with Morton's. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Except <laughs> theirs was like free whenever they. Yeah, wanted, yeah. Right? They got they had like a card, dude. They got whatever the fuck they wanted. Mm. At fucking Morton's. Yeah, yeah Morton's. Yeah. <laughs> um. Fuck that place. Fuck that. <laughs> go to Peter Luger's. I I actually brought it up because I had some food delivered and the dude like. The dude was, and and I'm, I'm I'm like the last person to to fat shame, but the dude was like huge, and he was huge. He just looked disgusting. He just pulls up, arm he's out, like, like you know, like, yeah. He's you know how some people Unkempt. it doesn't it has yes you know how some people it has nothing to do with with like their weight or anything like that. But there's some people you just look at them and you can tell that they don't. They don't give a shit. They get the fuck up. They roll out of bed. They don't really care about any of that shit. And he looked like one of those people. Mm. And and I'm like, yo, if this fucking dude like even like took a sip of my drink, like what was the straw touched- in it with the wrapper on? No, 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 no. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, come on, man. Just because there's a fucking uh, sticker over the the hole doesn't mean that you can't <laughs> fucking pop the lid. Pop the lid. Like. Fuck out of here. Like, they'll find a way. <laughs> Motherfuckers that are slick like that, that, that would do some shit like that, will find a way to fuck with your shit. And so just just off of the, the, the look that he, like, just how he looked, I considered it. But then like, did you did you drink the drink? I was and fucking eat the hungry. Food? Yes, I, I ended up eating <laughs> he's, he's like, yeah, it. Like, like, but, but then I was not. just thinking, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, fuck, am I the only one that has at least, like, considered this when people order food? You need Maxim models to bring you your food. Why? Oh, just normal everyday just Joe normal Schmoes. everyday folks. That's fair. That's <laughs> like, fair. I mean, anytime you go somewhere to like a restaurant, dude, like you want to look clean and not, yeah, you know, I mean, not, I've had, like I've just had those, presentable. Right. Like it's not. I've had those like those those uh those hood dudes are funny. The ones that come in, you hear the you hear the bump. Yeah, the they're, cars they're knocking outside. when they show up. <laughs> like they pull up, and all you do is smell smell weed when they pull up, and they just kind of just. Hey, yo, here you go, bro. I had a dude make me come out to the street one time. Like, I walked down my driveway. He, like, didn't even get out of the car. He rolled up in the car, dude, just knocking. And I could smell, like you said, I could smell chronic. He just stuck it out the window. Yeah. I, fucking, <laughs> I grabbed it, and I fucking ran back. See, all side. that shit is fine. All that shit is fine. <laughs> That's fine. Normal people are fine. It's just if I look at you, you look sketchy in any way. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think about it. I'm like, fuck, do I even want this shit right now? What but I, people, but it's hard because right. you just paid, like, let's say if it's Taco Bell, that $5 box just cost you about $19. So you're not going to sit there and go, or, you know what? I'm just going to eat this cost. I don't think the motherfuckers at Taco Bell look much better making your shit back. There. You don't see them, though. And that makes <laughs> a big yeah, fucking you don't, difference. You don't, you don't want to see them. You, you don't want to see them. And mm-hmm. no, you. but not seeing them. Makes a huge difference. I don't like how you can see behind any counter at a fast food place, except Chick Fil A. I don't care there. For some reason, everyone seems chill and clean, and I'm not. Can you imagine about though? Can you imagine if you can't see back there, like the shit that would just go on? Have you seen waiting? Mm, mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is sure based has. on real life. Oh, <laughs> mm. uh, Johnny, you ever you ever uh, get some fucked up Uber? Uber eats. Nah, nah. I, I mean, I really didn't do the, the, the app delivery shit when I lived in Rochester, and when I lived over here, like, well, nah. When I first moved here, yeah. I mean, nah. I, I, I never really had a, a. The worst experience I had was like a 
uh, weed delivery dude. <laughs> when I <laughs> you're not gonna turn that down bus. though. But yeah, you're not gonna. T- but dude was. St- <laughs> like it was just <laughs> and it's weed delivery so he's not meeting you at the door right like he's got a he's he was like on a, a bike messenger style like uh, with a big backpack and shit yep and at the time i lived on the fifth floor walk up so how were the highs not, man? not only so did he bike there he walked all the way upstairs and then he's got to come inside and sit on your sofa and then crack open his lid <laughs> Locked briefcase. Oh, uh, he put his uh, ass on your sofa. That is wild. And yeah, put he puts his ass on, on my sofa, sofa, and it's just straight bo. Yeah, short uh, shorts. You know, short, short biker shorts. shorts balls. You know, you know, he had no draws on. Fucking balls Word. all on your they fucking couch. on the couch. Smear Damn, spot. Damn, man, balls all on your couch, <laughs> man. Damn, balls. <laughs> 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 Damn man, you're gonna have to get that drop. Johnny wanted to get Johnny wanted to get it on some of that black guy voice. He missed out on it all last week. Oh shit! Balls all on your couch, man. Damn. <laughs> nah, that that's probably the worst though. But yeah, again, I I'm not gnarly. I'm not refusing the cannabis. Nah, though. you you're not doing that. Like, how was the herb? You, but you did question it. You do you question? Yeah, you question it. it. You, you you know you're like hmm. Do I really want to touch this product? <laughs> sure. It's in a sealed bag. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> weed. It's weed. Sealed. That shit is is burning as as you inhale it. Like <laughs> for some reason, for some reason that makes everything okay. Fire <laughs> kills all the bad shit. Fire cleanses. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Gnarly. So we'll 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 get to some more shit later because I, I have another question to ask, but let's get into some uh into some oh, recent yeah. news, man. Some, some Hollywood, some shit's news, been, some dumb been shit. Hollywood. Hopping. Yeah, man. Um, so we hit on it when it happened, man. But uh, you remember Pop Smoke was murdered um, early last year. So yeah, it, it comes out the detectives are saying that a 15-year-old killed him over a Rolex. Damn. So Over a Rolex? Over a Rolex, Rolex. because he wanted he a... Wanted, uh, Steal his Rolex and and sell it, make some money. Fifteen years old, he was the he was the youngest one in the group. The oldest one was twenty, and but he's the one who admitted that was like to a killing home him. invasion shit, right? It, so so initially that's what it said, but apparently it came out that uh that it was an Airbnb, mm. and um uh, and he was there. That makes sense. Yep, he was there because it was like in L.A., right? And he's from New York. Yeah, or Chicago yep, or yep. some shit. He's from he's from New York. Right. Um, and that was, yeah, in L.A. Airbnb, they yep. got him. So, Fuck. and it says, uh, it says, let me see. So he admitted to to kill, to kill pulling the trigger and killing him in the Hollywood Hills. And then it says, uh, they said the intruders were looking for the Brooklyn rapper's Cuban link chain, but they were only able to take his Rolex, which was later sold for $2,000. Oh, my God. Two G's. Word. Two G's. And it was probably like a fucking fifty thousand dollar Rolex or hundred thousand dollar Rolex. Some shit like that. Stupid shit probably could have just the fuck out. gave him two G's to get the fuck out. Shit was iced right. the fuck out. So yeah. Fifteen fucking years old. And the kid threw yeah, his a bitch, life away for two a watch. G's. And I'm I don't know the situation. Obviously, like who they are or whatnot. Um but with it being like LA, I'm assuming it's like gang members, shit like that. Um, I, I think they, I Probably. think they said that early on. But uh, but it's wild, man. At 15 to make a decision, like, yo, we're gonna kill this dude, and uh, and then actually go through with it. Right. For 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 it being the 15 year old to pull the trigger, I mean, it, it seems it's like some movie it. shit. Yeah, talked it's into it. Like some old movie shit. It makes sense though because normally, like somebody who's Skilled older person, they think about that type of shit. Probably would have robbed them and kept it moving. Fifteen mm-hmm. year old shook, scared as fuck. Mm-hmm. Wants to accidentally the, pulls the trigger, maybe, or, or wanted to impress yeah. the older dudes that right. he was with. Like, yeah, I'm fucking, I'm gonna go yeah, fuck. I'm a G, right? I'm a G, <clears throat> and um, fuck. and that's what 
they got him. He's locked up now. Like he confessed and all that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They he got confessed. Yep. Okay. They got they got the whole crew. Um, he was he was the one that confessed. Um, there's only one of them that's being. There's only one defendant that that is being tried as an adult. He's the oldest one, twenty year old. Damn. So it's like, what? Is, first of all, what is a twenty year old ch- doing with a fucking fifteen year old? You know what I mean? Like that's a it, it. It's not a long, like it's not a a big age gap. But at that age, it is. That's a big difference. Yeah. At twenty years old, I wasn't chilling with fifteen year olds. That's you not know like what I mean? being twenty five and chilling with thirty year olds. Like there's a, a mental uh, gap there. I there's feel like. there's a mental gap there, but that's more likely than than you being young. You're not trying to chill with like you know. Some right. like fifteen year olds when you're twenty. I'm trying to think, I did chill with Javi when he was mad, yeah, young. but he's family. You know what I mean? And 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 yeah, true, and he was true. different. Uh, Swerve is Swerve is different as far as mentally, but you're, you're, I'm talking about like you're thinking your your average, unless unless you are connected in some way, like obviously, like if it was a gang yeah. thing or some shit like that, then that that affiliation makes sense. But it's still it's still very That's unfortunate because at That's fifteen still. you're not making the best decisions, you're not no. doing things and. I did, I did stupid nah. shit when I was 15. I mean, obviously this person Do did too, except it, had it, it ended up in murder. So murder. And then, uh, and now we'll never know what, what, uh, what his life will, will lead to, mm. but it was right on the rise. So that's, that's, that's sad. That's wild, man. Yeah. It's, it's sad. It's unfortunate. So, but, uh, rest in peace to pop smoke. Mm-hmm. And, uh, this kid's life is fucked. And actually because oh. he's 15, he, yeah, I was going to say, what are they going to do? They'll probably him? do, like, a couple years in juvie or something. <sighs> Hopefully they're not, like, you know, throwing away the key. I don't think so. Like I think they'll he'll probably do, like, at the most, like, 15, 20 years. I would, I I would say. Probably. Something like that, like 15, 20 years for a murder. Pro- well, if he's, if he's charged as a kid, probably not right, even. Not even. Maybe, like, an 8 to 10. Mm. More with good behavior. Rehabilitation. Yeah. That's um like I said, man. Very unfortunate. Um, but in a little bit more recent news and stuff that I really don't give a shit about. Ooh. Uh, but it's being talked about hmm. right now. So uh, apparently Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez have been that they spent a week together in the Dominican <laughs> Republic. I see well, that. I didn't even know that he wasn't with what's her face anymore. Dude, you didn't hear, and this that, that was going to be my other question on this, uh, and the reason why I even care to bring it up. Did you see his whole stint on, like, Raya? I guess Raya, I never even heard of it, but Raya is like a, it was like Tinder. It's a, it's a dating app. Oh, the chick that on Friday, like, unmatched him, and he yeah, sent the video some, to some her. Yeah, some girl, some girl, like, unmatched him, like, turned him down on there, right? And tell me how cringy it is. Mm. I find this cringy because this is, he's not the first person to do this, the first celebrity to do this. But she unmatches him, and he goes on Instagram, on her social, and, and uh, sends her a message like, why did you turn it down? Why did you unmatch me? Like, says her name and it's shit. It's really me. Like, to let her know yeah. that it really was him <laughs> on there. And I was like, uh-huh. yo. And so, obviously, she put that up, and she put it up on her TikTok, like, that time when I, you know, matched with. Ben Affleck and I thought it was a joke. So I unmatched him and he messages me with a video saying, why did you unmatch me? Blah says her name. It's, it's really me. And she's just like kicking herself for it. Right. That's but what that's I'm still like such a, it, to me, it's like a fucking I mean, cringy. Well, ass if, thing it was, to do. if it was flipped around I, I, though, I didn't if it was see, like Kate Upton, like matched me. I didn't see the video. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, if she's saying that she, unmatched or whatever specifically because she didn't believe that it was really him Mm -hmm. right and then he apparently wants it so bad that he (laughs) goes and slides in your dms why would you like post that on tiktok and like clown the guy versus being like Oh shit! It really is him. Right. What's good? Nah, it, let's, let's get I don't think it on. was like a clowning thing. Like, I think it you... was more of just like shock. She probably he pro- he he was quite honestly he probably did it for a goof. But even then, like that would, you know what I mean? Probably, probably. did it for a goof. But that just kills your chances at actually. <laughs> 
getting in the fucking yeah in his pants if that's Bat what she flack. was trying to do. You know yeah, but I mean? it, but also if he sent her the message saying that she's like, holy shit, sends a whole bunch of shit like he pro- he knew she would. And then he just ignored it. Mm-hmm. Like she's just gonna. Then she's gonna. And yeah, if that's I'm sure it is the case. <laughs> unless he unless he clapped those cheeks, and right. we don't even know about it. That's on some DL shit. Yeah, and then right. ignored her. That's right. that Affleck style. See, then the, the, but see, the narrative would have been laid out so <laughs> differently by this person. Word, like word. I got my cheeks clapped, and he didn't even call me back. Um, so I think like it would be it would be cringier if the dude wasn't Ben Affleck. If it was just a regular dude, and he like got on her social all of a sudden, it was like, hey, would you would you unmatch? You like who the fuck are you, dude? Like you're not but, you're not Ben exactly. Affleck. Get the I fuck think, out of here. I think to me it's kind of cringy that, right, that right. him being a celebrity, as big as he Maybe is, desperate. right? I don't know about cringy. It sounds it seems desperate. Like, but why does Ben Affleck have that's, to be desperate? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's true. So uh, I'll change my word to desperate then. But it sounds very yeah. desperate for you to be but is this- Ben Affleck, who has, you know, laid some of the hottest girls in the world. Maybe he's you know, laying you- the groundwork for other future and de- like other dating apps. Like they know like, oh, he really is out there. This is him. So then they won't start on. But is, is that whatever? What do you call it? Raya? Yeah, it's shit? R-A-Y-A. So Raya. The movie? It is. It is. That's so what I thought. That's so. the. Um, weird. Weird. That's the. That's a celebrity only. Or influencer and celebrity only dating app, I think, right? Is it? Oh, I don't know. That makes sense. I because I've never heard of it, but I know that like I know that one exists. My, my I, they, wife they've listens talked about to it. some like podcasts that, and like the lady was talking about how she was on this special celebrity influencer. They never they never name uh, it app, though, and she mentioned that there was uh, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if she did or she didn't, but she definitely said that uh, I think she might have even mentioned Ben Affleck or like a couple other people that were wild and crazy. Or maybe she was afraid to say who's on there. (laughs) Get kicked off. Um, Yeah, because it's invite only. Actually, I think she said someone and then like the next day on her podcast, she was like, you guys, I got a warning and you only get three strikes. Oh, shit. I can't talk about this app anymore. (laughs) I can tell you one more person's name because that'll be my second strike and then. After that, I don't want right. to third. <laughs> well, this one named that that app called. Like inge- yeah, like they just okay. named it out. So I don't know if that's what it is, but I've never heard of Raya. Yeah, that might be. <clears throat> and um, and uh, but I, but I have heard of that app that you're talking about because Joe yeah. Budden brought it up a couple of times. He was like, "Yeah, I'm on there," that. and they didn't name it. They they were just talking about like the app. Didn't say the name. Was avoiding it. <laughs> like saying this name and i guess it's invite only oh, yeah. you That's can only one, be invited yeah. it it's a and it's a invite only influencer social network uh membership only dating app mm. weird so yeah so so if if that's the case then that makes it even stranger that he has to message somebody and goes it's really me it's really me yeah <laughs> Like it's actually logical like, that it obviously. would be you. <laughs> We're not gonna allow the fake right, Ben the Affleck spam, on this spam account on this invite app. only. Uh, but it's so weird. But because it's uh, so going back to the story, because it's J Lo. How long are we given this this foray? Oh my God! This until <laughs> G Lo two comes morning. out. <laughs> Yeah, and that's it. So, and then it's over. Oh man, <laughs> that's over. what ended the first one, right? Like that Pretty movie sure. bombed Pretty because sure. nobody wanted to hear anything else of yes. Jennifer. Yeah, like and literally, think, people she... were so invested in it that that this movie bombed because it so starred hard. both of them. So hard too. Al Pacino Al Pacino's Pacino, in that movie. Yeah. Al Pacino. <laughs> Poor Al Pacino had to go down with Geely, dude. That's unfortunate. Damn, for, for real. Al Pacino. Yeah, Al Pacino is in this Al movie. Pacino. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. It's, it's, oh, it's Alpa. I did not, Alpa did, did you all see Geely? No, I remember, fuck no, dude. No, I remember back then watching a little bit of it because it came out like on HBO or some shit. And mm-hmm. I just remember his horrible accent. That's all I really remember yeah. from, he had an accent? from it. What was it? It was yeah, like a New Jersey. Accent. It was like a New Jersey, like and he's from Boston. Like I'm a That's fucking, weird. you know, like I'm a, I'm a tough guy kind of. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like a. Uh, Greaser tough guy. I gotta yeah. watch a trailer for it tonight, dude. I gotta see. I gotta hear that. No, I'm, I'm interested. Yeah. 
Oh, man. Maybe I'll just so, watch it. Maybe I'll just watch it. Just watch it. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, it, literally, though, I don't, I can't remember if it was good or not. I, I, I remember already being biased at the fact that it bombed. So I started it and never finished it. I'm sure it sucks, but we may look at it in a different light nowadays. So uh, they hit us with that sequel. Yeah, I think, I think it was. It was terrible no matter what. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was. Uh, it's, this is not a classic by any means. wonder if Cinema Sins did that one. Yeah. Oof. Ooh. Shit. It'd be like a three-hour long video because <laughs> it's just so bad. It's so <laughs> trash. Um, but, yeah, Benefit. I give that um, – When did he break let's up say, with let's uh, give him Let's give him a month, and that's – Jennifer Garner? Who is he with? Before. I don't think he's been with Jennifer Garner. Really? Where have I been? I don't know what I've... I think it's been for a while. Really? Yeah. Shit. Okay. That explains all the pictures of him getting Dunkin' Donuts fucking just delivered to his porch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's some shit I would do if I didn't have nobody. I would just fucking just leave it on the porch. I'm a slob. Like the, probably like the dinosaur. It's been like two, three years. Yeah, something like Damn, that. Damn, okay. Yeah. Shit. They haven't been together for a while. Fuck. I don't really get into that. Was he that gambling? Shit, I think it was because he was gambling, right? Was that that was? Something? I have no idea. I don't. I yeah, now that I, I think, think about it, it was. I didn't really some shit like about that. It. Sounds sounds right. The man is fucking. What what is? I, hmm. The fuck does it matter if the man is gambling? Oh, I don't. I would. I didn't divorce him. I, don't oh, I understand. understand. I'm just saying. <laughs> he was addicted to gambling. Mm. Yeah, he's a, an addict. That's one thing. I I guess I've uh, maybe because I haven't had. <laughs> I was gonna say you the got fun stacks to, to throw that, around. However. Like that? Uh, I don't think that really matters to some people. No, that's that's the trouble. They sell their car. They sell shit that they do have, and they get in debt. Son. <laughs> shit. Have you seen fucking Uncut Gems? Hell yeah. Such a, that was such a good Hell movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Such a good movie. But or that Rounders? is exactly what that was. About. You ever watch Rounders with uh, Matt so long Damon? ago? Oh, so long so ago. Good. Rounders oh, yeah. is so good. Rounders, good one. That was so long ago. But it, yeah, that's a good movie. John Malkovich. Eating the Oreos, <laughs> John Malkovich eating Oreos. That's all you need to hear. That's all you really need in. to hear. Yeah, I'm gonna go watch it tonight. <laughs> <I'm gonna> go. <laughs> you should. <laughs> I was I, I was gonna attempt a, a John Malkovich impression, and I'm just not yeah, even gonna do it. Right. That's the I'm tough. not even gonna do. It. Do you guys have an impression hone, that you that, that you bit. are you you feel comfortable with? No. No. no, I'm not. I'm not really an impression guy. Like I don't. You like research videos on dialects and shit like that. I do. I, I like. I like with. accents. I, I I find them interesting. It doesn't mean I can do them. No, <laughs> but they're they're cool to learn about. The I think he's just saying that because he doesn't want to say one. <laughs> once I hone one, right? Once I hone one, because to really master an accent, they say you have to be able to just converse in it normally. And oh. I don't have any. I don't. Think I don't I have, have any. I mean, you, I have accents where I can say like specific things that I've heard said in that accent, but I don't have any accents where I could just mm-hmm. sort of carry on a, a believable conversation, conversation, right? Like I could do yeah. a fake, shitty yeah. like Russian accent for who knows how long, oh, but it's of, not. All of my accents are not fucking believable, horrible, and <laughs> shitty. Too, but I still do them. I don't care. <laughs> I'm pretty good when I hear something. Like if if I. If I'm watching a show or, or a movie or something, or I'm having a conversation with someone, yeah. and they have an accent, I'm pretty good at <laughs> are you, repeating. It are back you one of those? And then like adapt. Are you one of those accent. weird people that when someone talks to you in an accent, you oddly take it on and don't even realize? Yo, <laughs> absolute. I I try to hold it back so much. I'm like, oh my god, it's coming out. I, it happens to me in Spanish. Stop talking like them. Stop talking like it them. It happens to me in Spanish. When when someone in, like in Spanish is speaking to me, if they're Dominican, my accent turns Dominican. If they have a mm-hmm. Mexican accent, my my accent turns Mexican. Yep. Yo, Absolutely. 100%. That shit happens to me that all the time. That seems weird. Like I feel like if an American dude like did that, like if I just like if I wasn't speaking, like if. If I was speaking to a southern person mm-hmm. and like all of a sudden I just picked up a twang while I was talking to them, like they would be like, What the fuck, dude? What's My girl tells me that her sister does I've that. done that too. My girl tells me that her sister doesn't 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 realize. But like if they're ordering like Chinese food or something and she starts <laughs> talking like the Chinese people it starts, oh, that one I starts inheriting oh, a little bit of the <laughs> accent in there and people have to tell her, like, yo, chill. And she doesn't realize it. 
Oh, that, I def- That's I'd wild. Never do Asian. Wild. Yeah, no, you can never. <laughs> no, do, you can't do you that. Never go you full Asian accent. <laughs> That's, That's the only That's time that good. it really. I don't happens. even think I'm good at it, so I don't try. That's the only but, time that it happens for me is no, the Spanish I, accent. I, I wouldn't even want to. <laughs> the Spanish accent for me because happens. of the dialect. It's, it's just more dialect. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like I've I've been to the. I don't know. Like sometimes I do it because I feel like it makes people feel more comfortable. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, just mocking me my accent. Feel more I comfortable. Love yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, you know, I try to not just do the accent, but also embrace like all the colloquialisms and all like the different dialect words that they say and how, you know, like, um, uh, for instance, like, you know, if I was speaking to a person in Spanish, like in Mexico, right? Like, instead of saying like, um, de nada or something like that to say thank you, like, or to say you're welcome, like they would say por nada. Mm. And so like, I, I like, I grasp onto that, those little tiny things. And it, it makes me seem a lot more authentic. Just in your own head. And then he's like, what is this? And, no, but I get, I've gotten a lot of like, are you, where are you from here? Like, wh- where are you from? Yeah. Um, and, uh, and so it just keeps on, it, that probably gasses me up to try it, <laughs> it even might more. Be, it might be a, 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 and I can't even say a full-on Puerto Rican thing because people from the island are not doing it, but maybe like a New York Rican thing where we're used to so many different accents. And like a Puerto Rican, yeah. when, when you speak to someone in, in, in like, I, I, I can't even get the words out to say proper Puerto Rican because what the fuck is proper Puerto Rican? <laughs> uh, but when you speak to someone in our dialect, people are usually like, you're from Puerto Rico, aren't you? Mm. Because you just chopped that whole shit the fuck Word. up. <laughs> uh, but Dave listens Word. to everybody and is like, Puerto Ricans are just tall Mexicans. <laughs> I knew that was fucking coming. As soon as it got into the deep Puerto Rican talk, I was like, oh, the drop's fucking coming. I, I, just had, had, to for it. It. I had to do it the one time. Just I had to do it the for one it. <laughs> Of course. Oh, shit. No, but I, but I asked all of that. Because I, the only one that I'm like, I, I always try it because it's just, it's, the shit is just funny to me to try different accents and shit and, you know, different impressions. Mm-hmm. They all suck. I'm not even going to ever claim that I have a, a great accent on anything. It's tough to do a great impression. Or a great impression. Um, impressions impressions are, hard, are yeah. hard. And I quite, on, I, I honestly, I'm, com- I'm confident where. If I really wanted to do that, like if it was something that I like, it would matter to whatever I'm trying to do. I could do it. I feel like I could do it depending on the person, depending on the person. Like to become a per, like a impressionist. Yeah. Or yeah. something like that. Like if I really wanted to like study it, I feel like I could do it and like really get into it because just the way that I do it, sometimes I hit like the nail on the head sometimes depending on shit, but the only one that I'm uh-huh. comfortable with is like Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Cause it, there's not much to that. That's pretty. Yeah. And it's not even Mark Wahlberg. It's Andy Samberg playing say, Mark yeah. Wahlberg. Talking to farmyard <laughs> animals, right? Yeah. yeah. That's how, that's how we all learned our Mark Wahlberg impression yeah. from Andy Samberg. Oh yeah. my God. He did that so fucking well. And I, and I was doing it cause he, uh, Mark Wahlberg has a show where, um, where it's just like cameras following him doing all his shit on HBO. It's actually pretty good, but I was making fun of him. Oh, I did see that. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like it just shows how fucking how fucking busy that dude is, and how many sh- how much shit he got into. Yeah, exactly. and it was cool to watch because he he it, it like it hit actually like when COVID hit, so you saw like all the shit he was into first. COVID hit, and then he's just like it shows like how it impacted him and his shit uh, mm. back then, but. I was like making fun of him, and my girl was like, "It's actually pretty good." <laughs> <laughs> Someone else other than your girl has to say it's good, or else it That's doesn't true. count. I don't know. What do you think? I'm Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> say hello to your mother for me. All say right? hello to your mother for me. <laughs> hey, chicken. I'm Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> It sounds like Wok doing is, an Andy Samberg is. impression, doing a Mark Wahlberg impression. That's a layer. That's an Inception impression right there. That's what that is. Ah, uh, like I said, I never, I never, I never, I never really give a shit. I just have fun with it. If I feel like I that's could fun. do it. That's fun. Hmm. 
You fucking damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to your mother for me. All Say right? hello to your mother for me. All right. Oh shit. Most people want to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> what was he said? I don't. Know. Hey chicken. I'm Mark Wahlberg. Most people most people want to eat you, but I just want to be your friend. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear there's like seconds there. I like want to laugh. I just want to laugh so bad. That's why it's so horrible. Uh, But that that is ridiculous when (laughs) when he said that shit. I love it. It's like one of the only good SNL skits. All right. So what? There's a lot of good SNL skits. (laughs) Very. There are certain. <laughs> There's so many good as. It's the only good. One of the only. One of, only. Doing yeah. Mark Wahlberg. One of the only. No pollution. Years no Chevy. Yo, no, can Bill you tell Murray. me? Can you t- No, I said that's one of them. All of those are grouped in. Can you tell me the last time you actually watched an SNL skit and like thoroughly enjoyed it? The one, exactly. the, the one that we were talking about with uh, what's mean, her face I, and Ryan Gosling. The entire the brain. entire show. Oh, I, I don't watch. I watch SNL shows, like right almost every week. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Because he, he's sucks. in New York. He I tried. There's That's nothing the else to watch on Sunday City. mornings. <laughs> like Sunday mornings <laughs> when I get up, <laughs> I watch last night's SNL on Hulu. Nice. See, and I've, I skip through the different skits. I've and, tried. Oh, the bands, dude! I wish they would just stop with the music on SNL. Like, I might watch yeah. if there was. No it depends trash on the band. Music. I have caught a couple that sure. I'm like eh. every once in a while. But usually, I skip past that shit. Dua Lipa was on SNL, and I was like, okay, fuck Word. with this. Pulled out the Jergens. He's mm-hmm. good. Um, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is wild. Fucking Seth Rogen doesn't plan on working with James Franco ever again. After the rumors surfaced of James Franco being a fucking creep. I believe it. I don't know why. Like sometimes I, mean, I try I, to get people's backs, I've but with it. James Franco, like I just like, yeah, that sounds accurate. I've I've heard yeah. of that shit for, for years from like and there would there would be shit that comes out from guys and girls. Mm. Mm-hmm. That he's just that that he comes on he comes on. I think it was a couple of years ago that that it was like some some shit with a with an underage girl. I want to say where it was like yeah, uh, I think that's the latest shit. Like he's a groomer. Yeah. yeah, it was like an IG conversation or some shit that he was like reaching out to this girl, saying I'm really I'm really James Franco, and like and then it leaked. Obviously, it was on Raya too. Yeah. I don't think it was Raya. No, I think it was like IG. He's, no, he's trying like to get him. He's trying to get him. He's trying to get him right. in real time, buddy. And um, he was on Instagram Kids. <laughs> oh fuck! Um, <laughs> so he so because of YouTube kid comments. Mm. Uh, so James so Rogan Franco. when 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 asked about this, he said, uh, "What can I say? Uh, what I can say is, is is that I despise abuse and harassment, and I would never cover or conceal actions of someone doing it or knowingly put someone in a situation." where they were around someone like that. And then he said, however, I do look back at a joke I made on Saturday night live in 2014. And I very much regret that joke. Probably just like in hindsight, like trying to save his own ass (laughs) right Mm -hmm. there before that shit comes out. It was a terrible joke, honestly. And I look back to that interview, uh, in 2018, where I comment that I would keep working with James Franco. And the truth is, is that I have, I have not, and I do not plan to right now. Was that the joke that he would keep working with James Franco, or is that separate? Like, no, 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 that's separate. He was just he he was just commenting. I don't on know it. what he the said joke he, was. No, no, no. He he was saying that he regrets making a. It was a joke. I, I I don't know what the joke was either, but he he made that comment. I guess that was a joke in 2014. Mm. Um, that he made and that he's I'm thinking he's yeah. just like covering his own ass and shit. So like, he thought about it from seven yeah. years ago. Well, so it must have been at least a little oh, while yeah. for Oh yeah, for sure. Remember. I can't really remember some for shit sure. that I would cover my ass like the that. The biggest for. thing though that is just that just tells me that they've been like making accusations of James Frankel since twenty fourteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm guessing I hear that's what creep. the joke was on SNL had to do with accusations on James Franco, and um, he kind of made a joke about it, and you know, did a did made something light when he was on SNL. That makes sense. But I still haven't seen what the what the joke was. I, I mean, keep I mean, seeing that it was referenced that he said 
Doesn't I made a joke and I'm sorry for it, but no one. Wa- I haven't seen what it was. Doesn't Hulu have the whole SNL? It does, does it have yeah. the whole I SNL? Because, so. I mean, I how many so. episodes could Seth Rogen have hosted where we would need to go I through and just watch? more than... Like, three? Was he in more than one? I don't I don't know. That's you, the guy that watches SNL every week. You tell us, Johnny. <laughs> I, I don't pay attention. <laughs> I, don't pay I couldn't attention. even tell you who's last week's host. Yeah. I don't even think we're in a new season right now, are we? No, I think, yeah, this is like Elon Musk. Oh, the, that's the, right. The, that's the right. That was Elon started. last week. But did you watch that? Before that, I don't know who it was. I did, yeah. Was it funny? Uh, it was. It had its moments. <laughs> they all do. Like every SNL. Yeah. Like, they have their moments. Weekend Update is the saving grace of the whole fucking right. show. Right, that's usually what I'd like to watch the most. Is it still Colin Jost and that yeah. other dude? I don't remember what it is. Michael Che? Yeah, Michael Che, yeah. Michael Che got a new uh, show on HBO, too. Nice. It's oh, called nice. That Damn Michael Che. He's funny. And it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's pretty funny, but it's a also like, no, it's a sketch. It's oh, okay. Oh, um, sketch. I thought it was a stand-up. But it's I keep very saying. like, no, no, it's it's very, um, uh, you know, uh, controversial. I guess mm. I don't know, you know, it's cultural. It's talking about like the first episode is on policing, and the second episode is about like cheating on hoes, um, cheating on women, or whatever, and. He mm. <laughs> 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 You're about to apologize for this in seven years, John. It's like I refer to women as hoes. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> that just rolled off so naturally. Too. I mean, just obviously, if you're going to cheat on them, they can't hoes, be respectable. Then. Right. You, just, you right. only cheat on hoes because they're hoes to begin with. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> It's a, uh, it's pretty funny. I mean, if even Joyce uh, enjoyed it and laughed, so uh, <laughs> see, I think I think he's a funny cat. Yeah, uh, I I have listened to like little little excerpts of his stand ups in the past, and I fuck with him. Yeah, I, think I'm, I, I may I may check a it out. Netflix stand up maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. I can't remember. I can't. I, I thought it was on HBO that I saw his thing, but I thought it was a I thought it was a stand up. I'm gonna check it out. I might check it out. Uh, but to get back to this, apparently, uh, when asked about it, um, it says, uh, it, it, when asked if the demise of their working relationship was unintentional, Rogan told the Times, no, it's not a coincidence. Uh, he also said that the allegations wrecked their friendship. I don't know if I can define our personal relationship right now. Uh, I can say it, you know. It has changed many things in our relationships and our, and our dynamics. So doesn't look like we're getting that pineapple express too that we've been hoping for for years. <laughs> we will. It's going to be with two Ooh. schmucks like how high yeah, fucking yeah. two like we talked about right. before. It's going to be some bullshit ass fucking. You, you know what? Walking blazer remote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fired. I'd be, yeah, I'd be fired, I'd fuck with that one. That one would be great. <laughs> pineapple express. Uh, you guys side view. Smoking. Wink. <laughs> Cha-ching. Had the little Delta Eight Express <laughs> Two. Walk gets fucked up. Delta Eight Express Two. Sp- <laughs> Produced by Director's Cut. Don't forget, guys. Um, director's Cut. All right. So. <laughs> oh shit. Um, I think that's all I got for like average news. We got some some more Hollywood stuff, but it's uh it's more of the. Releases, man. We got we got some stuff coming. <clears throat> releases, rumors, things of that sort. Uh but before we get into that, <laughs> we wanna that, so. I wanna I wanna revisit the uh the whole who's worse, Homelander or Omni Man ah, now that that uh that, that finale and we don't have to wait until no spoiler alert segment for I've that. I had two watch throughs of Invincible because I watched it on my own and then I watched that, yeah. with Ash. And it was so. And you completed it good. with Ash already. I did, yeah. We oh, well, we banged it out quick, dude. She nice. couldn't get enough of it. She was all about it, and I was all about that. She was all about it because it's it's nice when you're expose someone to something they're all mm-hmm. about it, like they're feeling it. You're like, yeah, yeah. That's my right. girl, my like, girl would not be down for that. So that's yeah, actually no, cool. yeah. That's why. I, <laughs> and Ash is cool like that. I don't know if right. it's something about her, but she digs a lot of the shit that I dig, and like hey, genuinely, genuinely digs it. So it's nice. That's good. It might have been. It might have started off as something Both. that you. uh 
that she just wanted to have something to like try to get into with you. Well, because I would and be now, watching it on my own, and she would be she would catch like bits and pieces. Of no, it, no, I would yeah. Find her feeling like I'm not oh, talking about you, invincible, you're right? You're right? I'm not talking about invincible. I meant yeah. like like just in general, like. It may have been something that, that she was just like, oh, well, I'll give it a try for, you know, just to kind of <laughs> get close to him. Mm. And then on top of that, every, she works <laughs> she works at the fruit stand, so right. everybody's talking about the same shit. So she kind of wants to get familiar with that, too. True. Yeah. And now it's just like, oh, I like this shit. Like, this is pretty yeah, fucking cool. We got her on that nerdy shit. That's awesome. Um, but, yeah, we, we need to uh, – you still stay Homelander? So – and we had this initially, like, after we watched the finale, we were sort of throwing our shit in the group chat. And I feel like Johnny and I were sort of like, yo, Omni-Man is just the probably Stronger. one of the strongest dudes we've ever seen. Like, we were trying to, you know, throw out examples of it. And it seemed like you were not so sold on the fact that Omni-Man was the stronger. Or at least you questioned it more. Me and Johnny were just sort of, like, still in awe of the finale, I think, at the time. Because you had watched it earlier. But me and Johnny were almost watching it at, like, the same time. So, like we were pretty hype on the shit that was going on. Cause that was a crazy, a crazy finale no, with good, a yeah. lot of, a lot of shows of strength. And, and even like earlier in the, I forget one of the earlier episodes, like you see invincible just fly through like the first layer of the ground. Like he went through the earth for some reason, he flew down into something just, you know, like it was nothing. And like, he doesn't, he's not even close to as strong as Omni man is now for so him to just like pop through the ground like that. And, Little things. I don't know, Johnny. What do you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think when we when I first brought it up in the, in the chat, I was comparing Omni Man to like every superhero ever. Uh, that I mean, yeah. outside of like you know, like Celestials and um, like you know, uh, Eternals and and shit like that. Like you know, like these godlike people, but just like regular. Right. Like I feel like. Superman is probably one of the strongest superheroes ever created. I mean, he's literally yeah. Superman. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the way, you know, Omni-Man is kind of a Superman type character, similar to Homelander. Outside of the laser eye shit, I really feel like right. Omni-Man is stronger than Superman. Like, just the, the blows that he was delivering... Uh, when he was fighting Invincible and when he was fighting the Immortal, um, mm -hmm. it's like they were just giant, like giant fucking blows. But when he was fighting uh, his son, like I think I, I mentioned in he the chat, like there was that one so where he like he punched his son in his face in the <laughs> ground and it's like cracking the earth like hundreds of yards away split the mountain <laughs> split, split the, the mountain, mountain yeah. like it uh, maybe superman is that strong but i don't think i've seen that expressed in that i've, way, I've heard that know? i i heard that in the like, so uh, i had we had we had a prefaces conversation i'm like because obviously this is the conversation in the nerd groups right like who's the strongest yeah and the the images have Superman, you know, all from the movies and shit. And I had Superman, Homelander, Omni Man, and then the the uh, Josh Dumont Dumont from, from, uh, yeah, uh, from the... Jupiter's Legacy, which mm -hmm. I haven't I haven't seen uh, Enough, anything past the first no yeah first episode. So, but but that's the that that's been the conversation, and and I responded with that like I was like, oh, Omni Man is fucking so strong, blah blah blah. Somebody was like, yeah, Superman sneezed away uh like a planet or some shit i'm like dude like you can't is that true you i don't i, I mean i'm sure in the <laughs> comics everything has been done sure i'm like we can't we we don't have that much fucking information like superman has been been that story has been written and rewritten for decades yeah. so of course they're gonna throw crazy shit in there like, superman, so we can't go he off flew the opposite of way around the earth and reverse time in one of the superman movies didn't he, he? did yeah, yeah, yeah. that's got to be a major <laughs> canon right like i'm only gonna i'm only considering on-screen moments at, at this right, time, right right right, right. Yeah. and that's exactly what so, i said yeah you're too. right he did reverse time like all <laughs> 45 which is pretty powerful i like mean that. yeah for sure for sure <laughs> but pure like physical strength. I mean, in I the BVS, it... I think it was in BVS um, that like he was like 
really pounding um, Batman through like multiple, or maybe not not Batman. Uh, the 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 fucking yeah. I was gonna um, say Batman would die. Batman is human. No, it was uh, <laughs> Zod. No, not, not Zod. Zod. The other there. one. Uh, Doomsday. Doomsday. Yeah. Um, which which is Zod. The. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, th- that that was <laughs> fucking um, camera, dude. Fuck that camera. Um, yeah, fuck the camera. <laughs> That was um, <laughs> like th- he was pounding through multiple buildings and like really, you know, knocking him through for a while, like a far distance. But I still think like w- the way that and maybe it's because it's animated versus, um, you know, yeah, live action. I thought about that, too. S- the the Omni Man just looks w- way stronger than anything I've seen. Like a uh, Viltrumite is, must be the most fucking powerful being in in the galaxy and, the and remember universe. he's just a dude from viltramite but, like he's not like their star citizen like he's like a dude that was in their he, army yeah. and he's like yeah right, i'll right, go to right. earth like there was a dude in like the the like the flashback they did in the prequel he was like he was like an old super gray dude mm-hmm, so you mm-hmm. know that he was like crazy he was jacked dude like he looked like he could be omni man's dad like that's that's what he reminded me of and I don't know if we're going to see any of that dude, but that dude was fucking scary. I've heard that scary. that dude that showed up at the end, Alan the Alien, is mm-hmm. just as powerful as a Viltrumite because oh. of some, some like experiments that happened or some shit like that. Um, Good for him. But uh, but I, I well, really Seth don't Rogen. know too much about mm-hmm. that. I tried to, I saw some shit and I was like, oh shit, I'm learning too much. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get ex- exposed and spoil my own fucking I- experience because yeah, because it's, it's invincible. It's a whole. It's a, it is a comic awesome. book series. Yeah, it is a comic book series. So, and some people are running to the comic books and like trying to see. Part of me wants to, and part of me is like, nah, just wait right, right. for the show to come right. out. Like when I'm watching like a series. On I mean, Netflix, I'll like, I'll say I it. Research it. I'll say it right now. Like I like I I enjoy like getting into certain comic book stories. Um, but I, I always forget to, to like go back to it and shit like that. Like, I, I don't know why, maybe because it was, it wasn't something that I, that I got into as a kid. It was more something that I fell in love with these stories later in life through right. the movies because movies have been my shit forever. Right. Um, and that has been my escape has always been movies, never been really comic books. So I only went to comic books because of movies. So I'm way more entertained by, by the movies. And yeah. so I just like, if I know, like, like we, we talked about this, the invincible movie has been, uh, I guess been in the works for four years now. Uh, I'm Damn. sure COVID pushed that Crazy. shit back and everything, mm. but, uh, but yeah, that's been the biggest talk right now is like, because the show came out and brought so much hype to the, to the franchise. Now I'm pretty sure they're just like really ramping that shit up uh, to 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 Go bring ahead. that to the forefront. Cause fuck, man, that shit. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. I can't wait to see that shit. And it better be fucking rated R. If it's oh, anything, come on. if it's anything, oh, like it's not to gonna be. be rated. If it, it, no, no. If it's not rated R, I don't want to watch it. There's no, there's no point in wa- what. Why am I gonna watch this? Sh- like the show is gruesome. The show is wild. Like that's what I love about it. They wouldn't do that. I don't think they're that stupid. That would be suicide. Why? It's that would a, be okay. suicide. Even the, even the show is is catered to to adults. No, I'm saying it'd be suicide to not oh, do a rated oh, oh, R. Oh, like, okay. For I thought you were to saying like, no. Fuck that, dude. You know what I like, dude. Come on. For them Word. to not, you know, not make that as gory and as you know, fan service as, as they can, be. dude. Like they would be fucking up. It has like, to be. I don't know how they'll that. get and through I mean, the Seth whole Rogen, story. Like producer, in right? He was Alan the Alien. Two and a half hours. He's, like he's a producer on the show. I don't know how involved he is on the movie. They have to get him. I. I would, like I would have some, to agree with you. And I don't think he would go for anything other than an R. Yeah, no, I would have to agree with you on that. Did we lose John? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, yeah. another dealing with ambiguity episode. But no, I, I'd have to agree with you on on that, man. Like we can't, they they can't fuck around with it, and he has to be attached. I. Seth Rogen is now starting to slowly get away yeah. from being in front of the camera and he's yeah. got his weed company too. Being behind the camera. It's like Word. I'm liking it. 
Johnny, have you seen oh, his sure. weed company? Yeah. That little, like, he, he sends it, like, I don't know, people get these deliveries in, like, these little, like, clay pottery jar. Like, they're just, it's very, <laughs> it's a dope. very weird. No, it is dope. Like, I would fuck with it for sure. And the herb looks fucking fire. It's just these very odd packaging. And it's just, I don't know, it's very Seth Rogen. And he's into I pottery. And he's always, like, tweeting pictures of his, he'll just, like, make mugs and, you know, nor, n- nothing weed related all the time. <laughs> like, he's just doing his thing, dude. And it's, it's really cool. Honestly, to see. that's, like, the so with these celebrities and shit, like when they don't, when they have time, like it it would be amazing for like thinking personally, it would be amazing to be like rich, whatever. You don't have to worry about shit like that. Uh, and I would easily like spend a majority of my time being busy. If I could map out like, Hey, from this time to this time, I just want to do shit that I'm, that I'm into. And not right. really worry about money. And it's actors have that. Hiring, like, yeah. you, have, you have your, like, The Rock, who probably, who's just, like, on movies, like, movies for fucking, like, Years. back to back to back to back. Like, he, he's mm-hmm. just trying to milk the whole shit. And then you have the people that, you know, that, like, they, they have movies steadily coming out. But, you know, from this time to this time, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And, yeah, I would fucking love to figure out, like, huh, I really enjoy pottery. <laughs> like I would love that Something. luxury. Yeah. I, like um, obviously not necessarily pottery, but I would love to discover that. Oh, this is actually what I enjoy because I have so much time mm-hmm. to actually try new shit. Or making your own tequila brand, or your own cannabis brand, or that. See, that's all work. I, no, I'm talking. That, I, I'm talking I, about the times when you're that <laughs> not be, doing that. <laughs> that wouldn't be. That wouldn't feel like work for me. If someone was like, Dave, we're going to help you build your own cannabis brand, like that would, I would wake up ready to fucking oh, yeah, go, no. bro. Like that's not work at all. Like if it's something that you love, that's not work, dude. So if it was something that you truly loved, it wouldn't. No, I mean, yeah. You're you not passionate about cannabis and tequila, but I'm sure there's got to be something out there that you would wake up and be like, bro, podcasting. How, <laughs> how many times do I have to fucking <laughs> hit you up with dumbass questions about this shit and you're just like, yeah, dude, like that sounds cool. I guess okay. it's always yeah. work. Question. <laughs> it's always All work. Right. Yeah, you're right. Ba- back to the invincible shit, though, real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. We said Omni Man versus Homelander versus even Superman, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh, yep. Not to sidetrack too hard, but in only the invincible universe. Because, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, there's Celestials and Doctor Strange and Scarlet all Witch kind and all of this shit. shit. Yep. But in just the Invincible universe, did you not feel like, at least I thought, Adam Eve was going to come and save the fucking day? Because I mm. think Adam Eve is more powerful than Omni-Man. See, maybe she is, but because she's a teenager... It's it has she hasn't gotten to that point, whereas Omni Man. Uh, but I Man, thought she was going to fucking like. <laughs> no, show yeah, up I feel you. And, show and up. save the day, because she was watching him on the video after she got called back in. Because it's not that she's more physically powerful; it's that she can literally manipulate manipulate right. the world, yeah, molecules. Like yeah. she can create anything. Yeah, her making the doors on her house and yeah, taking the doors away. Yeah, that show was crazy. <laughs> that show was crazy. Like well, she that, started and that's, expanding the whole house, like, behind her. That shit, I was like, yo, like, you can just change anything. And then, like, the way she built her home and all that shit, like, she can literally just do anything and make anything happen. Like, how could Omni-Man, with his ridiculous amounts of strength, um prevent her from like I, I get the only thing he could do is knock her out before she starts to do some shit. <laughs> no so so you have to you have to think about it and and again all right so i always i always refer to this shit as my asylum shit but you have to think about it right so she's a she's a, a teenage girl with with powers on that that you as you know as a as a grown-ass man can think of the endless possibilities right so with with her experience she's very limited on what on what she can do her mindset isn't quite there yet and you're talking about um her in comparison to a viltrumite who's lord knows how old because 
he's fucking old because he's even like gray haired right here right. in this, he looks in this older part. than so 30. <laughs> so he's gone yeah he's gone his he's entire lifespan he's gone his entire lifespan fucking knowing that he can essentially like clear planet he's been through war like you know what i'm saying like yeah. it, it's successful yeah, wars yeah. where so his mindset is no one can stop me nothing can stop me where she is a teenager who doesn't know the her own the, strength her own, really. strength her own yeah her own abilities to the point where she could possibly stop someone like him and but but if if her mind isn't in that but in that like there. in that zone yeah, yeah. uh it's not gonna happen now one one thing that i hope happens is uh i want to see that motherfucker who beat the shit out of the entire team the the fucking uh oh, what was he lion like a lion dude, yeah that lion the, dude the, the, yeah, i want to see white, him beast master beast master yeah, yeah. i want to see him that go dude was, that dude was not fucking around and he <laughs> no, had a scary ass no. voice too my man was he, he, shot, he actually dude. left mid fight like, He's like what the fuck am i doing here? like i killed fuck everybody y'all. yeah yeah he was like <laughs> this is a waste <laughs> this of my time <laughs> yeah, like yeah. i need i need i need more than this and he just kind of <laughs> stood back like watching people get murked people fucking going crazy, again dude. i i think though i think though because so beastmaster was crazy same, dude same premise though uh because Bro. invincible because Invincible is a, dropped a, the whole time. Yeah. Because Invincible is such a, a, a is is a teenager and he's so young at at his his own strength was the only reason why he wasn't so uh, right. uh, was why he wasn't able to uh to to attack that dude you know much better and, and win that fight. I'm hoping that at some point that gets. Like that fight actually happens again. Yeah, Battle Beast is so, when he's got his. That's what I'm hoping powers, for, yeah. and I'm sure it will. We get we get two more seasons for sure. Right for now sure, that are right. confirmed, so I'm looking forward to that. I don't know when I was watching that dude. I I didn't I never got the vibe like Johnny was saying about um, Adam Eve coming in and saving shit. I mean, not that I it, didn't get that vibe I, either. I, but I just, it makes sense. I just felt that whole entire season like nobody was touching Omni Man like. Maybe for a second you might think, oh, oh, and then no, like he's, right. he's no, not, even, not even, not even touched. One time. Like you were never worried about him. You were never like even when they threw nukes and shit, nah. dude. You're just like, nah, he's he's good. Like there's, like Absolutely, it almost yeah. it almost was a detriment to the show how bulletproof he was because we weren't. I mean, it took. That it was took... The, I feel like that was the point too. Like that whole season <clears throat> was showing how shook he was until. You know the sedimental. It took that first team, that, that, end, that first that team of the the world's like the guardians, biggest, the yeah, the guardians, guardians which was the globe. the the, mm-hmm. the you know the world's best, mm-hmm. best. And after he fucking demolished them, them, it was him. no, he he didn't trump them. Me, I mean, he was fucked up, but but still, like, it literally took him, him to the very last, when he last person. The immortal's head yeah. off right. with, with his hand, chop, karate with his hand. chop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, all right, <laughs> like, all right, um, and and you know that's how that's how we start the shit off. But and Omni Man had the immortal, he had Mark, and he had that fucking kaiju, and like at no point were you like, I don't know if he's gonna come out of this. You're just like, fuck, dude, how are they gonna stop this motherfucker? Like that's all I could keep thinking yeah. and. Poor fucking Invincible just wouldn't give up, dude. Like, my man was spitting teeth, gurgling blood, like, and I just was <laughs> like, yo, my man's going to die right now. Like, somebody, what, yeah. what is going to happen here? Like, I was so, I was so shook, and then he sorry, flew away. Sorry to anybody who hasn't seen it yet, but spoiler alert has You've been lifted because that's been, mm-hmm. it's been, it's been out for a couple weeks now, so. Or, or the finale has actually been out for right. a couple weeks now, so. Better, better be jump on, on that. Be on it. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Mark Hamill was Art Rosenbaum. Yeah, there was a lot of little crazy rando people. There's in there. just so many people in this fucking cast. Bro. The the Reginald Val Johnson that got me. Yeah, that was dope. <laughs> like, and that was the name of the freaking the name of the high school. The yeah. high school, Reginald, and he was, was the principal. So it was, yeah, it was and, perfect. And he was called Principal Carl, I think, some shit like Something that. Something like that, yeah. It was yep. dope. 
They 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 killed this show. They really did. It came out of nowhere too. Like I had no idea what it was. I think Walk mentioned it. It's right. like Invincible. I was like, yeah, what's that? He's like, oh, it's like the boys, but a cartoon. I was like, okay. And I watched it. Right. I was like, yep, I'm hooked. This is dope. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. It was so fire. I had seen like a couple people talk about it on Twitter. I had seen nothing. In, in like a in like a very like light way. Like they just mentioned it and they were like, Holy shit. Someone told me to watch this and wow. And I was like, hmm, that's uh <laughs> I was like, maybe something I should watch. Yeah. Reaction. I had like no that. idea it was animated or anything. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it was about. I feel like the uh, uh the animation style wasn't it, it 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 had an anime sort of draw to it, didn't it? Like some of the fights seemed, you know, like not necessarily like full on Dragon Ball Z, but like I feel like there had to have been like Asian artists on that that were doing like manga or some shit. Like I don't know, like when you would I see I didn't really get that at all. Not really. Like when you would see I don't know, it uh, reminded me of uh, Attack on Titan sort of. Like when you would see Homelander uh, or not Homelander, I said fucking Homelander. Um when you would see Omni Man like lose his shit for a second and his eyes would fucking bulge and get wild and bloodshot and then he would just start fucking somebody up there was just little things you know little little things in like the anime style it seems like it makes shit more powerful like the sword coming down and kill bill when they did like the anime like section for uh-huh. uh lucy Liu there like i don't know i feel like that the style of animation made omni man's you know power and fights just everything seemed more intense and violent and i don't know if it was the style but it I, it felt anime to I me i seen way. some like shots from the um from the actual comic books and they perfectly match yeah the uh the the show like all yeah, the it looks, designs the costumes looks the, all the same same animators they, I bet, all, I all the same it may be i'm not sure but or at least you know they're able to to match the look um perfectly but like yeah i seen like a a a shot of like the teen titans and everybody looked exactly the same robot rexplode adam eve um uh uh, invincible everybody monster uh, girl just like i love monster girl monster girl duplicate duplicate that's dope though i i I can't wait to i i want more i want more of that shit we all like now (laughs) <laughs> like nah, like uh, <laughs> but uh years. but i'm not yeah i'm not I, I i want to like i could run to the comics and see what happens next but i really want to i don't want to see what it. yeah i want to see what nah when it comes sure. on screen uh, like i enjoyed that's the one thing about this show uh and then you know we can move on but that's the one thing that i really enjoyed was not knowing what the fuck was gonna happen yeah like right holy shit Holy shit. That's why I said, like, I, jaw drop while I'm watching. Especially that fucking the finale. season finale, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. Yeah. Finale watching was it like. I thought it was yeah. going to be what some old heartfelt. Yeah. Some heartfelt right. shit. And I was just nah. like, nah. nope. No. Nah, and not, they, they, they didn't even. They didn't even. The fire. They didn't even allude to it in the slightest. First five minutes, you're like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> holy mm-hmm. shit they picked up right where they yeah, left the world, off world holy K-4. fucking shit so good shit yeah. man good shit um oh yeah i was giving y'all the play by play while i was watching yeah yeah, yeah right you're right You're like seven minutes in and i'm like <laughs> holy shit i was like eight minutes ahead of you so i i sort of knew where you were at <laughs> yeah, yeah. i think so all right so 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 we can move on a little bit you watched that shit while you were on vacation. You yeah, were he did, actually. He did. He's like, yo, I need to peep I this, I did not want to miss that. Yeah. No. <laughs> as That's soon as legit. we started talking about it, he's like, right. he's like I'm going to watch this long, real quick. How long is that? <laughs> <How long> is <laughs> that? <laughs> I think I have I got time. time before dinner. I can make it. <laughs> they got enough time. And then you're shook, got you're shook enough all time. dinner long. You're like, nice what did I just lit. watch? All right. So uh, to move on just a little bit, uh, I guess Loki is premiering June 9th instead of June 11th. Which is gonna earlier. be? It's only a couple of days, but but now we're getting Wednesday releases on on Disney. I don't I don't know what the decision for that is. I like the Fridays. I, it made me look forward to Fridays. It got yeah. me through the week. Like mm-hmm. that was my whole thing with Wanda and even Falcon. Like I you know I looked forward to popping a couple gummies or something and 
just sort of get into it. Like, I don't want to just eat gummies on a Wednesday. Yeah. And fucking- you know what, though? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Now that I think about it for 30 seconds, <laughs> <laughs> it's it makes sense in that all the streaming services that do weekly releases release on Friday. Oh, so so now they want to do Wednesday so that they're not so competing they're with the no, only anybody. Only one that's yeah, yeah I mean, they're gonna be Handmaid's. the only show. Handmaids drops on Wednesdays. On that's streaming. true, but I don't think Handmaids is there. Handmaids drops on Wednesday. Yeah. We get New do episodes? we get it Thursday okay, on so on Hulu? New. No, it's it's a Hulu original. It drops. Oh, that's Wednesday right. It is Hulu, it so. is a Hulu original. Okay. Yeah, so we get that on Wednesday. You're right. But I I still don't even watch those okay. on Wednesdays when they but drop. But that's also Disney too. I, yeah, right, I, right, right. Good call. I tend to, uh, I tend Johnny to watch. With the save. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to watch. Uh, I tend to watch it on on when when it drops. Really, I don't. I wait till Fridays just because I I'm in that mood. Like I pretend like it's not even out. Like I don't even think about it. No, you don't every, say anything about it. Mm. With uh, with with me and my girl, if we're like watching something, generally it's not like we don't pick a day. Every night we get to a point where we're just chilling there and we're trying to spend this like. Trying to watch something it's together. Like, you feel like, do you have time? Like, so are we it's time like, where we have time to watch something, or is it too late? I don't even know when shit drops. I don't even know when shit drops. It just goes like there's a notification, or it'll say new, and it'll have that. It'll be like, oh, new handmaids. New handmaids. That's we what we're that. doing tonight. So it's not. I started out. watching yeah. them mm-hmm. on uh, on oh, Amazon. Oh yeah. Uh, How is that? that? That's it's it's pretty good. It's pretty. It's a it's a pretty like twisted story, but. It's like um, it has that eerie feeling of like horror, like ghosts, but it's not very uh-huh. prominent. It's not. It's not like what it's. I feel like it's going to get to something that has to do with that because it is twisted into the story. But the main story is mm-hmm. is mainly of a family that moves from down south to East Compton in L.A into a neighborhood where literally the entire neighborhood is white. And they're the first family to move into that neighborhood. And all the white people are trying to get them to, to leave the neighborhood. So they're dealing with that. And it, and it's a span of 10 days. So it's like this family, like it tells you a preface, like this family, like it, this, this is the first 10 days of this. And, and they just go through so much shit. And there is some, ghost shit that goes on and there's also the like extremely high racism of like the 50s and shit was it kind of like lovecraft i was gonna say it's kind of it sounds like 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 lovecraft i was thinking the whole fucking no 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 no. i was like this is like amazon lovecraft love we're talking lovecraft is way more into the ghost like and all these other shit going on and then with with Mm -hmm. with the added racism this is more of like the racism story racism. with some other shit going on that's also like uh, impacting everything that's going on here too. It's a, a, a different weight on racism. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, but it's but it definitely your racism in them. It's definitely more of like the racism that goes on in them is more of like you know that that was the day-to-day racism shit that went on back in those days. And it has nothing to do with us, right? No. No. Okay. It seemed like it. I, just, See, I thought they were like them a, and I thought it was like I mean, a spin-off. It, was them. it has a similar it was, font was it Jordan for Peele? Was Jordan Peele, Peele is he's, us. Okay. It, but he's not part of that. Yeah, I mean, he's not, he's not associated so. with this, I thought right? he was. Okay. Like, I thought he was. He I might be. Like that's why I thought it was like a spin-off of us. He might be. But you said I it, didn't was look the, into it was it like the, that. the 50s, right? Yeah, it's like 50s, 60s. Um, and that's when there were white neighborhoods in Compton? Yep, yep. So it's East Compton. So I guess in no, I East Compton. I Peel relation. No. no, I don't see that either. I guess I just, it was in my head then. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's must be Jordan Peele. So yeah, I guess I guess back in these days, uh, in East Compton, it was predominantly white, and you know, back in those back in them times, most neighborhoods were white. Yeah, white white folks had their neighborhood. Black folks it is had shocking, their neighborhood. Though. I didn't had no idea Compton was. I know that's so exactly what I thought too. Right. That's what I thought too. Uh, but now, yeah, I mean, and this is like where it touches on people, you know black folks starting to move into those neighborhoods and like the shit that they do to try to get them out. Crazy shit. Clearly Crazy it d- shit. didn't work. 
No, definitely not. They just start moving out. Like once they, once they, th- that shit doesn't work. They're not bothered. <laughs> that shit doesn't work. Yeah. yeah it's like, what the fuck? We're going to yeah, Boca Raton. Your, 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 your average white <laughs> suburban family ain't really about that life. Right, they're on right. they're They only have strength in numbers. And once that shit doesn't start working out, <laughs> out. it's like, Oh, well, well, we're, we're, we're moving. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, y'all some pussies, Dave. Y'all I'm some not pussies. going to Boca. I'll live in Compton. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right. Um but <laughs> uh but yeah, so we're getting Logie on Wednesdays. Uh go back to that and then let's see, what else do we have? A quiet place. Oh yeah, so mm. so the stars think that they uh they owe him some money because of this decision that they have uh to have a more limited release of a quiet place too in theaters. After, because what, after reading that, I thought that was legit. Like, just like their their claim anyway. Because I mean, the, what I read, they made a deal for money on the did. back end of the theater release, and then they said, "Oh, we're not releasing it in that many theaters." So, like, that's fucking with your money right there. Like, I feel like that's oh, at yeah, least the conversation. A uh, conversation legit, yeah. should be had. Like, yo, like that's not what we agreed upon. Like, that's you know, the I studios like don't give a fuck though. I know, but that's fuck. Is it like coming out on streaming earlier than it was? Planned it's coming out on streaming earlier, but but the, their original mm-hmm. deal is that they were gonna get. Some money from the from the ticket tickets. releases, yeah, but they're not yeah, selling as many tickets. So big time now. Uh, yeah. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt are like, so all right. Not that they're hurting, but I mean, it's the not principle. that they're no. The you you do the thing. No. you do a job. They tell you they're paying you X amount for right. this job, so you're expecting I mean, that's their something. Movie, right? It is their yeah. movie. Yeah, like he's he's a producer on the flick, right? Mm-hmm. And. I don't know if he directed this one. I, I think he directed the first one. Did he? Or he was he was I know he's heavily involved with the creation. Um yeah, that's uh, he might got some, I mean like rework the fucking contract right. like Yeah, that's what they'll have to do for sure. Or some oh shit, no, yeah, you know? no. Uh Quiet Place 2 is directed by John Krasinski. Nice. Yeah, see he's he's directing and, and acting stuff, and mm-hmm. he's got and acting got some and his wife re- and renegotiating oh, going on, down here. The man. And right. he wrote it. Yeah. And he wrote he it. Co- Jesus. He, he co-wrote it. Yeah, and he co-wrote He's it. He's also the, the, the DP, the first yeah, key grip, the guy. and the, the guys. assistant. Yeah. So he, he, he's, he's doing his fucking thing on that. I mean, you wouldn't have a movie without mm. him. Literally. Literally, there'd the be movie nothing. wouldn't exist. Be a bunch of assistants be standing around with There's no with production, their thumbs up there's their no ass. writing, and... and there's no directing. Yeah. And there's no starring. And his fucking wife is smoking hot. The main star of the movie. See, I didn't like, even I didn't even realize that he directed the first one. Yeah, I, I knew I he it. was I, I thought he directed it, but I knew he was heavily involved. Nice. And I think he wrote the first one too, right? No, 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 no. It, uh, I don't think he's listed on co writers for the f- first movie, but Oh, oh, no, man. wait, three more credits. So, yeah, he was on the writing team for that. I was going to say, if he wasn't, dude, yeah. that'd be wild. You come in, you shoot a movie, you're like, nah, I got the second one. I'll write this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, damn, the boss no, on this, dude. Okay, was, fine, Jack Ryan, write whatever the fuck you want. He's on the writing team, those five people, though. So, <laughs> it's like, how much? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he wrote a couple right, lines. Yeah, right. They go every fifth word. Change some dialogue. Right, 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 right. But now, but now the, on on this one, it's three three people. John Krasinski is is on that list. So he's a talented motherfucker. He is, man. He sure. is, and I and I fuck with John Krasinski, man. He's a. Those other yeah, two I was were just, just gonna say characters. in in the namesake of our show, I fuck <laughs> with the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the namesake of the show. This is a John Krasinski pod. This is a John Krasinski. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know, Dave. Do you fuck with John? Krasinski? I fuck Apparently, with John. I fuck with John Krasinski. No, he does not Jack because Ryan. he hasn't seen the Jack first Ryan. Quiet Place yet. Still, still how can you fuck with John Krasinski <laughs> if you've never seen this movie? No, I mean, The Office is John Krasinski. Uh, he Quiet is in Place that. is. I mean, he's in that. It's good. He is. He's, he's, in the, <laughs> he's a big. He's, he's a, a big, big part of it. You would. Though. You would Jim be more is a, a solid character you would I'm uh not sure how much writing he had in the office you would support john jack krasinski much on, more did he write on jack ryan i don't think so <laughs> I don't think he did. that's Maybe. all tom clancy dude tom clancy wrote jack Maybe. Ryan. actually did you i mean the, he, he wrote mm-hmm. the book oh yeah that was my shit 
I'm like halfway through the second. Oh, season. who's not fucking with John Krasinski now? Yeah, you're right. I haven't I haven't seen the show yet. <laughs> I, I think uh-huh. I probably watched like uh-huh. an episode. Uh-huh. An episode. Uh-huh. I'm just really Jeez. trying to get him to watch a quiet place. I'm gonna. That shit drops on May 28th. I've got like a bunch of days. <laughs> <laughs> have you watched Walk? Have you watched the um Jordan B. Washington. Um, <laughs> no, the <laughs> Tom Clancy. No, movie. it's it's on it's without on my remorse, list. Is that? Yeah, no yeah, remorse. With, without remorse. Without remorse. Uh, that's on my list. Both of, both of these are actually. I, I I was actually going to get my girl to because uh, I haven't had the time to watch a movie, mm-hmm. but that's yeah, going to be the target. next movie that we watch. Uh, but once we don't have anything going on. I'm going to introduce the idea of <laughs> He's gonna watching that scene. the the Jack Ryan. Uh, oh, that okay. after yeah. you watch the without remorse and she's feeling it. No, like, no, 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 not yeah. even without remorse. She, I'm just saying, she, like, I just, should, no, you should. But test I mean, the it's waters the same vibe, remorse. right? Yeah, it's the sure. same vibe. Absolutely. Oh, she likes that shit. No, she likes she likes action okay. movies. She likes action movies. She likes shows like that. Shit that that has that vibe. I know that she will like it. the The thing is, is like when my girl watches a show. I already know she's like, she wants to be invested in that show. And every time we have a free time, that's what we're watching. So mm-hmm. right now we have Handmaid's Tale once a week, which is, which isn't bad, mm-hmm. but it's like once, once it's we're, enough. I'm waiting it's for that enough. day where we go, what are we looking to watch today? Like, Oh, I want to watch Jack Ryan. Let's, wanna, let's you want, do you want to check it out? Jack Ryan no, I am. Like, I'm going to oh, say okay, it. I'm going to okay, say it. That's not going to happen. I'm going to say it. No, she's not going to say it. Cause she doesn't know, Jack but she Ryan. fucks with John Krasinski too. Sure, so she likes sure. him. So, so she'll, she'll, I, I know she'll be down for that one. I'm just waiting for the right time to be like, yo, let's start this one. Cause we will, we'll start some shows. Some of them, we, they just end up falling off. And we've done that yeah. a couple of times with, uh, with Amazon shows. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're usually not, not not too great, but they'll always have like one or two shows <laughs> that are just like buy, stellar for you, whatever yeah. reason. Keep that subscription Nasal. going. They need those yeah. A plus plus. They show. do. Johnny, did you watch Without Remorse? I have not yet. Oh, uh, okay. So Neither of you. I'm okay. in it because. Um, <laughs> no, we'll but talk about it. But it's also my next, it's the next movie on my, it, it was up to, it, and you know, this is, it was a Saturday night, I believe. Uh, I gave my wife two options without remorse and uh, nobody. Mm. Oh, Oh, did you like nobody? And so she decided to use the tomato meter to make her choice. Okay. Ah. And nobody was. And without remorse was not great. I think it was like a 44 or 48. And and nobody was like at an 83. Damn. Mm. Okay. And she made it about 35 minutes into Nobody and was like, this movie. (laughs) (laughs) She says she will never use the tomato meter again. She's like, fuck you, Bob Odenkirk. (laughs) It was all right. It was all right. Yeah, no, it was all right. I thought it would have been better. No. Uh, I I try not to look at any of that. Honestly, I thought I was gonna get a um, you know, a um, a, a, a John Wicky yeah. more. If John Wick got like, his ass kicked a lot, <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. Like he <laughs> wasn't a good fighter. No, he, wasn't. he wasn't a good fighter. He at had all. his moments, dude, but it was not John Wick. He had like, his I moments, but it's just no, right. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I assume that. I don't, I don't know why. No, the trailer. I, mean, and I guess it hype. makes more sense because it's hype. Bob Odenkirk, right? But yeah. I really thought, based on like that original trailer, that he was gonna be a kick-ass motherfucker, right? And nah, it, he was just like it was kind of like it was kind of like Invincible, got dude. Lucky, a Invincible lot. Invincible got his ass beat like once an episode, pretty badly, dude. Like he was for a dude <laughs> yeah, calls himself You're Invincible. Not he was getting thumped a lot. Like how many You're times did he wrong. go to the Those hospital and have to fucking recover and shit? You gotta dude. like, <laughs> yeah, you gotta <laughs> fucked up a lot, sure. dude. You gotta you gotta take those hits to become the to become that hero. <laughs> oh no! How many times you know we saw Omni Man recover in the hospital, we, but like how many times over his thousand years or whatever? Has bro, he been we saw up? we saw John Wick at his but he best. He comes back. <laughs> we saw John That's Wick at his best, but he but he had those start. He he, he had that start. <laughs> Man, <laughs> he had those. Th- we haven't seen those early days. All right, That's true. Um, but uh, I'll tell you what I have started. 
and um, I did catch Bad Batch. But before then, I took Rocco's mm-hmm. advice, and I saw he told me that if you wanna if you wanted to catch on to uh, Bad Batch and like then to watch the last season of Clone Wars, but only the first four episodes, and then watch the last four episodes. I thought he was joking when he said that. You really did that? Clone yeah, Wars I did. or Rebels? Clone Wars. Okay. So he's he said it's still it's still good to watch Clone Wars because uh w- what's dope about Clone uh, or Rebels? Um uh, what's dope about Rebels is you get those those new characters that you've got from Clone Wars and it mixes up with the old ones and and is definitely like that's where Maul's Darth Maul's story gets like in there and you know you get you get closure for that but um, but the, the last season and, and, and I was thankful that I did that because the first four episodes of the last season is where you're introduced to bad batch, like the group. So Uh-oh. you, so you know, okay. so you know who they are and, and, and what that team is about before you go into the show. So that's the first four episodes. He said the middle part. You could still watch and it's good, um, and it and it tightens up the story a little bit, but it has nothing to do with Bad Batch, so you know whatever. And then the last four episodes of Clone Wars was worth watching because it those four episodes coincide with episode three of Star Wars, so it's just mm. good Star Wars story arc that's happening. As you know, as episode three is going on. Nice. Gotcha. And, um, and so, so, you know, it has a, so from there, I got to see a little bit of Ahsoka and, and, you know, some of their stuff. Um, obviously if you want to go back to it to catch more of the story arc, you just watch the rest of the seasons. But if you just want to get into bad batch, do episode Mm -hmm. one through four, really for, for bad batch. And then episode four, uh, the, the last four episodes, um uh, of the season to just mm. get to the point because literally the last four episodes ends at obviously if it coincides with episode three it mm. ends at you know order order uh 66 <laughs> and then bad batch starts at the whole you know uh how long order are 66 the, how long are the clone wars episodes? half hours half hour yeah yeah I don't know if Johnny said that the first episode of the Bad Batch was like three hours or something wild. No, it was like an hour. It was an hour. It was like like an an hour hour and 20 minutes. minutes. That's a feature film, dude. Like, I mean, that's that's a legit. It's legit, but it was good. That's a Pixar film. But it was legit. Yeah, it was legit. It It was was a legit fucking episode. It was a legit episode. Um, So if you're if you're interested in watching it, those those episodes from like I. I think I'm I've, highly impressed with the animation too. Yeah, yeah it's like, it's there great. There were scenes that I was like, "Is this it's like animated? Real Star Wars? <laughs> like, especially like any of the scenes where they would, uh, where like the ship comes out of hyperspace, yeah, and it just like zooms and 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 it's you know you see the star background and the ship, and then it starts making its way towards the planet. All of that shit looks like mm, this. Almost looks like a real Star Wars show. It almost looks like uh, like Mando. Mando. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so that's the thing is we, we now know Filoni for, for doing Mando, uh, but, but he's the one who, who made these shows what they are. And we know that the love that he put into that and he built that, he built that, um, uh, that, that notoriety off of something. So everyone who loves Star Wars, like says that these shows are amazing. Mm-hmm. The only thing that I was put off by is like having to watch fucking 10 seasons of clone wars to try to get to this. Yeah. But he's, he right. was like, yo, before watching it, just watch the first four that episodes of the last yeah. episode I should go of, back of the last season. It, if you, if you want to watch bad batch, it's, it, it is good. I do. I do that. That first sure. episode, it is an hour and 19 minutes, but it's, it's an hour and 19 minutes of, of, of dope ass. Yeah. Cartoon. Like it's, it. it, yeah, it's worth it. And I, I was already more invested in the story arc because I did what Rocco told me to do. Nice. So it was a pro tip, pro tip from Rocco. Yeah. Pro tip I from like Rocco. It. So I thought he was fucking around. 
No, no. He, <laughs> I mean, he said, he said, watch this, watch this, and I did. And I'm, I was when I when I ended up watching it, I was a little you bit more thankful, invested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Helps, I was, sure. I was invested in the story. I knew who they were, and I knew what they were about. And and then I knew instantly, like I was when I was watching the last four episodes, I was just like, yo, this is fucking dope. You know, because I know obviously like the main story because we we've all seen the movie. Mm. Uh, but as soon as it picked up, like right, like right off the bat from that, and I don't want to give away any, you know, I don't want to give away any sure. tidbits or anything like that. But from what happened, we we know what Order sixty six is, mm-hmm. and you know, it, Clone Wars ends on that. Bad yeah. Batch starts from that, and. One thing that I will say about them and why they're called Bad Batch is they are, they are clones who have defects, so they created their own team. That makes sense. You they're know what I'm saying? Bad Batch of clones. Yeah, the Bad Batch of clones. Uh-huh. So, so, yeah, Rock always says he's, he feels like they're like the expendables yeah, of yeah, like Star Wars. And, it, and it, it, does, it. It, does, it does make sense. Uh, but now that I've seen it, like, I'm, I'm definitely invested in the story. I'm, like, I'm going to be watching it weekly now. <laughs> when do those drop? Are those Fridays? Ah, uh, I don't know. I feel like Why they are. Know? I feel like we when we talked about it. I'm were, sure. I mean, Friday, it's because everything else was Friday for the most part. Yeah, everything is is Friday. Friday. Star Wars, Bad Batch. Uh, yeah, Fridays. Nice, yep. nice. Fridays are just a magical, a magical day. It is. I mean, I think it's just, just more of what we're used good. to. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's just more what we're used to. I don't know if it's like. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I don't know if it's in my mind. If it's dropping what, on, yeah. if it's dropping on Wednesday, you know what I'm gonna do on Wednesday is I'm gonna I'm fucking watch, watch the show shit. on fucking Wednesday. <laughs> like, who gives a shit? Uh, I'm not staying up until three in the morning for to be the first person to fucking watch it. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. I'm I'm not about that life. But you know what? When I wake up, <laughs> you watch shit pretty early. Still, uh, uh, sometimes I still dude. do. Yeah, <laughs> I still do. Uh, During sometimes, the work day. Where sometimes, you sometimes I, you know, I I, I try. I, Mainly what I do is you'll catch me watching something like that. I get up at, I try to get up four thirty, five 5 o'clock to go to the gym to work out. And you'll, mm. I'll watch that shit on the treadmill or the elliptical. And yeah, that's where, that's where I watch that it. Makes sense. I always pictured you in here just watching shit on the computer. <laughs> just like catching episodes <laughs> while you're trying to work. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes that happens. Like that happens. That's, sometimes, sometimes you've watched episodes of Mando like that for sure. No, I wasn't. I wasn't here when the way walk watches. I always. I wasn't here when Mando. Both of you guys, you and Joyce on the couch. You guys snuggle. Are you guys right next to each other when you guys are watching shit? (laughs) About you and your lady. I was working. uh, I was working at 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 Apple when when uh, Mando was out. So I was watching that on my break. Nah, this last season. Last season of Mando. When 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 did it air? Really? I don't. I feel like you were here. I thought you were here for Mando. Was that in 2021? Yeah, definitely, right? Mando was this year. No, what? it was 2020. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> it ended like in November or December. Damn. Where have I been? I, I was know. watching that shit on my lunch if I if I had to work. I, mean, I was thinking of Wanda. You watched Wanda here. Wanda started in January. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. and, and even then I would wake up. I would wake, <laughs> wake up, up. I would go I I would go to the gym and nice. that's when I would catch it. All right. Or at least the majority of it. Picture you watching stuff anymore. Yeah, Wanda, I think, was the first one that you at least started texting us early. Yeah, right? yeah. We, <laughs> yeah, we were that early. Early. We were, like, we were Motherfucker, off. 8 a.m., you already like, saw bro, it. I just had my nah, coffee. That was, that was I just had my coffee. Steve cause... would wake up mega early and fucking watch yeah, Rocco would yeah. wake up mega yeah. early Steve during too. Mando. Oh, Rocco, Rocco was up at 3 us. in the yeah. fucking yeah, morning yeah, watching true, that shit. But anyway. Actually, that's when we started... Yeah. Doing the, yeah. Yeah. The weekly name of the show exclamation. Yep. I would um it was Mando. Yeah. I would definitely yeah, that's right, Mando. I would definitely recommend Bad Batch, but if you're if you're interested in Bad Batch and you want to watch Bad Batch, but haven't seen the last uh T V shows, Rebels and Clone Wars, watch the last season of Clone Wars. First four episodes, last four episodes, that worked enough for me. I enjoyed it. No. Yeah. Um, I'll and it, it gave me, it gave me a good base to, to, to catch up on this bad batch. Now I'm in, now I'm sucked in, <laughs> but, uh, but also in star Wars news, the, <laughs> did you hear the, the most recent rumor? 
Gal, Gad- Gal Gadot is rumored to be a Sith Lord in, uh, in the new Star Wars trilogy. Boner. What new Star Wars? So trilogy? we don't know a lot it's of, a one? we don't know a lot of, uh, information on it, obviously, but, th- and this is all rumor. So who the fuck knows if it's true, but, um, uh, apparently it's Sith going Lord. to be taking place in the old Republic. Uh, so, and she is, she is a, a Sith Lord. Yo, I would, tur- I would turn to the dark side, cuz. <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, so now people are, like, doing mock-ups and shit. Oh, yeah. shit. People are doing, like, mm. mock-ups and shit of her. None of them are, With are the red eyes very fucking and good. The fucking, mm. And then, and. Do one of them look good? They're, they they're look also, good. they, they they are also saying that Keanu Reeves is also attached to this. So I don't know how, how like legit this is. And you know that one of the, one of the news sources on this is, is we got it covered. So, oh, shit. but, uh, so, so we don't know if there's any validity to that. I've just seen that like everyone is sharing it like a fucking wildfire in the like star Wars and nerd fucking groups. And I'm just like, eh, we don't fucking know about that. <laughs> like that, yeah. there's nothing to get excited about right but now. Let me say, I'll be the first to say that I would fuck with it. Oh yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, that'd be dope. Mm-hmm. She's yeah, dope. she's dope. She's and dope. I, no I, I mean, I, I think, I, like I think her. that, uh, I mean, it's not gonna be like, oh my god, Gal Gadot, but, but you know, if she's a Sith Lord in in this next series, like that'd be dope. Yeah. Like whatever. Like I'm not opposed to it. I think I think she's a fine enough actress and she can pull off the fucking uh the, the, the fight scenes no problem. Right. Yeah. Um That's all we need. Quite honestly the only thing I like not so in for and I won't even say that I'm not so in for, but I'll be more worried about it is the fact that Keanu Reeves is tied to this. Wait, what? How is that a bad thing? <laughs> I love Keanu Reeves, but Keanu Reeves is like Keanu Reeves plays Keanu Reeves in every movie. Like I, I don't, I don't see him being a Sith Lord or or being like. But could you see John Wick being a Sith Lord? I guess. Okay, then you can see Keanu Reeves I as a Sith Lord. I could see him. There you go. Being a Jedi. You think so? Before a Sith. Well, I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah. So the rumors isn't necessarily that he's a Sith Lord. Huh? Or not even um, uh, either one, like just a, a badass Republic. Right. Like a Han? Fighter. Yeah. Like a Han Solo? Like type. A, yeah, smuggler. Like a, Han like a badass. Like a, I can see that. That I can see. I'd be, I'd be more interested in that. Like a Diego Luna type. <laughs> People didn't like my, my Keanu Reeves impression either. You caught some heat for that. I remember that one. I did. Yeah, small, small, did heat, small heat. Small heat. Small heat. <laughs> small heat. And any heat, heat is good world. heat. Yeah, if you're talking about me, then that's good. And you're it's talking about him. Yeah, facts. Uh, but uh, <laughs> they just, people love Keanu Reeves so much. Yeah. And I, I love Keanu Reeves. I love, like, I watch his movies. But like when when you start giving him these these roles that are like bigger than life roles, yeah. it's like, come on! Like, I think there's a lot of nostalgia for him, mm-hmm. kind of, you know, and a lot of more appreciation. And he's just a genuinely good versus, dude. Like, like personally, he yeah, you, exactly. You want to root for him? You want him yeah. to do good? So like, it's that makes it easy. He's not like a that's what that he's not like a Logan Paul where you're like fuck that dude. I don't give a fuck what right. he does. Like you want him. To, I want him to do well. Yeah. I want him to be. Good. I want him to be in these movies, but at the same time, when you go, when you go, Keanu Reeves is playing this role, and it's like, not not necessarily like an iconic, but even if it's like a a part of a series where it takes like some some sort of acting chops, (laughs) it's like I don't know if he'll if he'd be able to do that. Yeah, I get I get nervous because it's gonna it it may impact my my thoughts on Keanu Reeves. For this role, no. uh, so whatever. I love the guy. I, 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 if he is in there, I, I'm sure it'll be the right role for him. This is the Keanu guys. pod, for sure. We are Keanu. I pod. am. I am not disputing that at all. Not at all. 
Uh, let's see. What else? Hollywood? Yeah. So Hugh Jackman came out and said that he wants to do a Wolverine cameo in Deadpool 3. Please. That'd be amazing. Please. I didn't even think he wanted to play Wolverine cool anymore. I thought that. That was, was that like his only stipulation? Like it had to be in like on his turn. It was something like that. Yeah. Right. Movie, he, like, he was saying something like that. It did seem like, I don't know when they're joking. Cause like they're, you know, they're good friends. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. No, but I mean like, I feel like if he shows up. It right. It'll be like be a like cutaway like scene or something. To right. win the battle. No. Oh, yeah. It'll be something yeah, small. They're not like going to be teaming joke. up. It'll, it'll be, be like when he opened the door in Deadpool 2 and the X-Men dudes were in there and closed it. And that was it. That was all we got. Yeah. Uh, so I'll I'll be down for that. Yeah. Even if it's a small cameo, we'd be happy about it. Or or obviously if absolutely obviously if if uh, it'd be better if he like walks by and says uh, fuck you. Well, I I think that it would it would yeah. definitely be a thing where where the new Wolverine and the old Wolverine would kind of interact <laughs> because there's gonna be a new Wolverine like Logan which, and cool. the old Wolverine like the well. The young Wolverine. Yeah. I would yeah, say. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something where they where they interact something because meta. It'd be very knowing Deadpool. It would be very fourth wall. Mm-hmm. Very it's fourth wall. Yeah. Be, yeah. And um and that's another huge rumor is that uh Henry Henry Cavill uh was is actually going to be Wolverine in this new in the MCU. What? Yeah. That's another rumor that's going around there which i don't know if that would be true but i mean i could see it mm. i could see it i could see it for sure i don't think i'm a fan yeah i'm, I'm a henry cavill fan yeah i am but I, as wolverine I don't know. it's that's like that's just him being <laughs> he'd yeah. be doing a hugh jackman impression that says that's all he's got like it's not going to be much of a different you character. Maybe he'll have a maybe he'll have a mustache. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he'll do the, the Mission it, Impossible like arm cock thing where he's fucking fighting. You know that dope little thing that he does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not as dope when you don't have fucking diesel ass arms like he does. <laughs> it's just stupid. <laughs> Oh man, I'm look I'm looking forward to to see what happens with Deadpool in general. Fuck yeah. And uh and Wolverine. Cuz we talked about the the whole anthology idea and things <laughs> of that stuff, you know. So we don't know what's actually going to happen, but no. We can hope. I'd be down for it. And the whole thought was like, oh, they DC fired or not fired, but just decided to let go of Henry Cavill because they didn't want to um, yeah, you weird. know, move forward with all of that, the whole Snyderverse, because what? WB just keeps dropping the fucking ball. I feel like Whatever. I'm gonna boycott DC at some point if they don't stop fucking around and bring that Snyderverse all, back. Like that is all they are doing, just fucking around, just fucking just around, just fucking around. Fuck yeah. that, dude. Word. Um. So, fuck them. We'll see. We'll see what what happens with all of that. Uh, quickly. See, because we're just going to end up wrapping up because there's not a whole lot here. Mm-hmm. But um, we're not getting Blade until July. Tw- oh, no, no. Sorry. It starts filming, starts in, July, filming yeah. in July 2022. 2022. Why even release that bullshit? See, that's the I shit that pisses me off. Why even, <laughs> so yeah, stupid, why even tell people that? So <laughs> so we're not going to talk about this for yeah. a long we're, fucking while. It doesn't while. even does deserve our airtime. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Mahershala Ali. Um. They uh they came out and said that uh Joker sequel is <laughs> <laughs> Marshall Ali is still the man. I know, yes, um, I love him. I'm sorry. The Joker sequel sorry, is Mahershala. reportedly still in the works. Uh and it's <laughs> yeah, it's For still real. in the works. Set in its own cinematic universe. Um and Dave Batista has joined the cast of Knives Out sequel. Oh. And he's leaving uh, Guardians. Doesn't he, didn't he say the he, next Guardians was going to be his last Drax or some bullshit? I thought I, I thought I they read that. they said so so really? so. There's rumors going out there that that the color scheme of the Guardians of the Galaxy logo has to like it's been tied to the person who dies in the in the in the movie. Which, if you look back at it. 
Is that true? It, it, it it, yeah, <laughs> it, it has been. Who was the um, big character that died in the first Guardians? Uh, I got a... I know his mom died at the beginning, and the bad guy, fucking what's-his-face, died at the end. Let me see. In the second one, it was what's-his-face with the needly thing. I don't remember. Mary Poppins. Uh... Mary Poppins, y'all. So yeah, I know I know that the colorway definitely matches the the second one because okay. it was that blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I can't so, think of his name. What the fuck was his name, Johnny? Is it Nando. Nando. Like said Mandalorian. Non- Nando. Nando. Nando? Now Nando? that's from what you call. Oh, Yandu. Nando. Yandu. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nando. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. You know, I'm the worst at that shit. Um. Yandu, uh, and then the first movie, I can't remember right now who died. Um, but the, but, but, oh, 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 group. Oh. And then the, co- the, the colorway, the colorway matched that, the colors of group. Oh. And then, and then that was the rumors, like people developed that saying, like, this new colorway when they released the, 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 so like the, the Drax, font and everything, like it's red like and, the Drax colorway, red and green, and order. And that dark. and then and then he came out, so he could just be trolling, but hmm. he said he said I didn't say that Drax was gonna die. I you just said, said that he that was done is, playing Drax, yeah, right? I, like I'm I'm just done with Drax. Uh, or he said something to, of that sort, but at the same time, he could just be trolling. So we don't know. Just because people are like you know those those people who read into the shit, it's just like. Right. Oh, this colorway. Oh, oh shit. Cuz most people think that uh that Groot is the same the same person from part 1 to part 2, but no. Groot died at the end of part 1 and then the baby Groot the new is Groot his was born. Is, See, yeah, I always thought that was the same Groot. No. I thought that's Groot his just son. like came back. Like he had the same memories and shit. Johnny, did you know that was Groot's son? <laughs> See, he's that's not what even I'm listening. Talking about. That's he's what I'm talking listening. about. That's a, no. He listened. It's just fucked him up. He's like, I don't understand that. Yeah. So Groot Groot died at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Part One, but so now Baby Groot, the second Groot that grew out from him, <laughs> is is his son. I thought that was little Groot that just like he had everyone to, he had to regrow. He yeah, had to everyone, regrow. Everyone thought that. <laughs> and this is canon. You're sure of this. Yeah. You can, yep. You're factually. Oh, Johnny, yeah. you need to I fact no check idea. this after the episode because I'm not buying any of this right now. <laughs> I don't think Johnny is either. He's like, yeah, I'm really not, <laughs> not sold. You're not sold on it? Let's see. <laughs> he's like, he's going to look it up. Uh... <laughs> I had no idea. I have no idea. Mhm. So yeah, what do we got? Oh, I, I mean, I'm not the fact checker. I'm, I thought I'm you the were fact checking. I thought that's what you were doing. We were we're we're all fact checking because Johnny Johnny is uh trying to fact check. But yeah, so so jo- Groot sacrificed himself at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy to save the rest of them, and what grew from him was his son. But why would his son grow from, like, if it was a piece of him, wouldn't it just grow into a bigger him? Why would it be, like, new consciousness and everything? That's that's weird to me. I'm not it gonna, even I'm says not here gonna... on Looper why Groot had okay. to die in Guardians of the Galaxy. Why, but then Groot grew back. Like, right. it was the same Groot. You, so, you, so, so, so we're trying to logically think about, like, how, so, how someone else would spawn from a, from a talking tree? Yeah. <laughs> right. Like if you're our, if you died but your finger lived and it ended up being your son, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know, but he died. <laughs> he right. is dead. He is dead. Yes. All we have Root, is a new baby. Groot died in Guardians. Why wouldn't they give him a new game, game new name? Because Why are they still Groot? call him Groot. That's just confusing for everyone now watching and it's the same. It's all Groot. I, I don't guess. know. All right. I don't know, <laughs> but um, but you can fact check that I will. if you'd like. I'm going to everything that I'm reading is heavily, saying Groot died. Groot died. Groot tonight. died. We know Groot died. Oh, we lost Johnny. We lost Johnny. Damn it! Is he calling back? Is that? I him? don't know. So no, but yeah, Groot. Groot is dead. Groot's dead. New Groot. Okay. We really don't have any <laughs> anything to spoil. 
Yeah. I'm sad that I was not able to <laughs> grief with you guys because <laughs> I uh, I just now learned that mm-hmm. Groot is dead. <laughs> same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They brought back the same voice actor. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Do Do you know any other talking trees from his planet and what they say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's one that says, I am Steve. And Maybe. that's all he says? Maybe. Maybe his okay. name's Steve. Maybe there's a Groot, a Steve, a Joe. <laughs> yeah. We don't I know. I am Joe. Where's he even from? Groot? Yeah, the planet, planet group. group. <laughs> that's what. That's my assumption All right, right now. All right, all right. It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> it's now. getting ridiculous. All right, guys. Let's. Uh... <laughs> what if I am Groot doesn't even mean I am Groot? Like, you know, like it sounds like I am Groot, but what if he's just saying he something is. else he, yeah. that just is like Every, that is Groot. that is his language. Everything sounds I like I am Groot. Every. Emotion, every thought, right. everything, and I assumed so, everything in that language is just a, a version of "I am Groot." It is. It is. So, so he. Uh, it was I explained that that once he once he has a emotional relationship with you, you understand what he's saying, which is why in the first movie, he and uh, and 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 Quill kept going back and forth. He's just like, "I am Groot," and he's like. Yeah, you said that. And like they had that whole fucking thing, and then all of a sudden he understands. Right, right. He's like, I am Groot. Yeah. So they're like, "Whoa, watch your mouth." <laughs> so, so it's like it's once once a a Groot has a, a personal attachment to you, you understand yeah, you what understand they are saying. It. However, and there's a whole layout you could you could look it up online right now. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, I there, know this. No, 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 so no. Dirty. But I'm saying there. Yeah, there, there's a layout of his lines in the movies and what they, what they like, what he's actually saying, even though you hear what I am Groot, right? There's a layout of saying like, so that you can read what he's saying and they respond it like for real. I heard that that wasn't, that's how they gave him the script so that he knew how to say. (laughs) Oh, okay. That makes sense. Sure. And he just put his own like vocalizations on the, I am Groot's. Yeah, he put his exactly his emphasis on the words based what on he was saying. The, what the <laughs> subtext was. That'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun to do. <laughs> it would. I out of everything, like out of everything, the yeah. one the, my one true dream job would be to to be a voice actor. Hell yeah! I think that'd be crazy fun. I think so. Mm. I would love to just like that's that's what I do. It's like. I go into the studio, record, like say all these things in like some weird ass fucking <laughs> tone and you're rocking inflections, your pajamas, knowing like all that shit. Yeah, the just show up for a few hours and, and then him. go back home and bank. Do like, whatever I'm, you want. I, like I'm good. Nobody even has to know who the fuck I am. Jerk off. Jerk off sure. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Whatever. <laughs> if 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 I feel like it. Absolutely. And you always feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right. So, do we have anything else to to throw into this here? I am Groot. <laughs> Let's not, I mean, you can say that again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. <laughs> we got a bond, Johnny. We got a bond. So that's yeah. That's exactly it. <laughs> Is that gonna be a, another another drop? Now I'm gonna have to take that. Is that our episode title? <laughs> I am Groot. We go. are Groot. We are group. All right, guys. Uh, if we have nothing else, do you have anything That's else? That's it, baby. Add? That's it. All no right. spoilers. I got nothing. No spoilers. We have nothing else for That's that. That's it, so. baby. Guys, thank you That's for it. staying through this whole entire episode if you are reaching this point. So, as always, uh, if you enjoyed our content, please leave a review. Rate and have your peoples subscribe Whoa. To our podcast because they deserve Boom. to hear <laughs> this deserve. gold. I like this it. gold that we drop every week. You'd be doing once them a, a week. favor. You'd be doing them a fucking favor. So uh, as always, shout out to our network, Defat Entertainment, and um, and you know what? Shout out to us because we're the fucking bomb. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, if you want your you 
You better, better fucking believe it. And if you want your Delta 8 carts, which they just came out with pre-rolls, Delta 8 oh, pre-rolls. Oh, shit. Uh, directorscutliquids.com. Just seen that. Hit up their website. Order your shit. It's, they deliver? It's, it's legal. Everything is Get good. It. Get your shit. Gucci. Directorscutliquids.com. Mm-hmm. Support our peoples. Mm-hmm. So, we love you guys. Peace. 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 Definitely need to do that in the video. Screenshot. That's a screenshot for the episode.